Okay, I'm live. That's good. Great. I'll just get the sound. No need to hear myself. And uh, yeah, just take my headphones. And uh, yes, we'll be good. Pretty much good to go. Uh, okay, no sticky brush. Nope. But I have cat hair everywhere. Uh, okay, never mind. Anyway, I'll deal with it. So, here, my coffee. And so today we'll just try to make a broader chest because I think as a uh, pectoral pectoralis muscles are a little too too small. The thickness is not that bad. I don't like too thick, you know, too rounded uh, pectoralis muscles. But uh, yeah. Maybe I should try to widen the thing up a little, specifically here. Try to push a little more here on this left side. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so now just put some music. Great. And that's good. So, spatula, sculpey, because I'm using Super Sculpey, the firm version. This is my all time favorite when it comes to those um, quite big scales. Not that big, but um, in comparison to what I'm used to, I like Fimo too. Two of them are very, very good. Oh, forget! Just gonna roll an old yeah. This is just an old chunk of uh, of, uh, of clay so I use it for you know removing any dust hair fibers it's sticking to it use an old you know an old chunk very dirty it's useful okay so just had some uh, some clay, just some blob of clay here and there. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll try to give a broader chest. If I put that here, yeah, it'll be good. Yep. Oh, hello. We are three. That's good. Great. Yes, yesterday uh, was my uh, my first live stream since a very long time. I didn't advertise advertise it. Just went live. And uh, yeah, it was great. I had a great time. Very very nice to have some. People having chat and uh, yeah, it's French guy. It's a great way to practice my English. So, all in all, it's fun. Just fun. I love that. Live streaming is so fun. 
And it's cool because uh, when you have some tedious work to do like that, you know, uh, it's very, very nice to uh, to do it to do it live, you know. Yeah, I think it's better to have a broader chest here. It's kind of strange because if I for this uh, this specific uh, this specific issue with uh, with pectoralis muscle, if I'm watching at references, most of the time I will find uh, you know those big big bulky swollen um, bodybuilders. And uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan when it comes to uh, pectoralis muscle uh, to to yes to 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 represent it that way. You know, very rounded, very big, very thick. It's it's interesting, but yeah, aesthetically speaking, I prefer to um, make these muscles a little flatter. Oh, hi, Carbide. Good evening, too. Hi, hi. Dear. We'll monitor the chat with my tablet here. If I'm doing that, channel, channel. Yep. Yep. I'm using a Super Scopy, the firm version. I know the. I think they changed the package. But, uh, yeah, that one. It's uh, definitely one of my favorites for use um, quite large scales. And it's uh, it's great, great mechanical resistance. Can do a lot of things with that. And I'm considering to try. Um, I like Fimo. Fimo is good. Uh, good polymer clay too. Oh, okay. But I think they changed their 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 packaging right now. They're using uh, you know this um this plastic film stuff. It's uh oh Fimo Soft and Pro. Okay, I like I like Fimo uh, I like Fimo Pro. Fimo Soft I think is a little too soft for my test, but um. Uh, I know that uh, some very great sculptors use uh, a mix of soft and uh, sculpy. Sculpy firm, I mean. Great. With Fimo, uh, most of the time I'm sculpting, you know, those uh, very small scales. Oh yeah, Fimo, Fimo Pro is stiffer, yeah, 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 yeah. stiffer than uh, Fimo Soft. It's very, very good, Fimo. There's also um, another very, it's, it's a small brand, but small brand, sorry, but it's a very, very nice too. You have um, Beast Beauty. It's available in various hardness kind of int very interesting and uh, i have the old formula so it was uh, quite difficult to bake you shouldn't know uh, 
you, you have to stick to the uh, to to the to the temperature because if you if you go over it, the the thing will um will uh, will will not glow, but will um will have some kind of a superation. It's very strange, but um, but yes. Uh, the I know that the guy changed a little the formula and that now it's very very easier to bake and it's a very very great uh, polymer clay even the, the the old one was very good kind of sticky you no know, very sticky oh yeah use you use uh, this beauty It's very good, uh, very good material. But I, uh, I tend to use a lot of uh, of um, of that one and Fimo because it's very easy to find in my place. The problem is with uh, with when they're too old. It's Difficult to work with it. Yeah. No, it's working perfectly. Fimo is, is very, it's a very good choice. It's easy to find, not too expensive. It's great. It's a great material. And I uh, definitely want to. Uh, to sculpt bigger stuff, I will. Uh, I like also to use um, to use oil clay, oil based clay. You know, like uh, monster clay or chavon, plastiline. It's very, very, very nice too. You can use it. You can uh, use it and reuse it and reuse it. it never dries. How old is too old? I can't say it's, it depends on a lot of things, a lot, a lot of um, parameters, you know. Um, but the the only thing I uh, I know is that I had a, I had some quite old batches of uh, of of Sculpey of Super Sculpey firm, and um, yeah, I even when um, needed, you know, uh, it remained very almost brittle. But it's something you have to 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 experiment. I can't I can't I can't say how how long it takes for it to be almost dried. But um, yeah, when you can just try to to need to need the thing before buying it, just touch it to 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 feel the the matter. But I I don't I don't know how long uh, it can take. The only thing I know is that it's very, very difficult to uh, to work with uh, with uh, with that type of uh, of clay. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm not very uh, keen, you know, to buy it online without checking it. When it comes to beast beauty, it's 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 different because uh, because the guy uh, it's it's a very small company as I know that yeah things have, you know you he didn't I don't think he will um, stock for years and years and years and years in bad condition his uh, his um, his merchandise. So when it comes to beast beauty, I have no 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 issues. But uh, for that, it's when you buy it from a third-party seller, you know, can be uh, can have bad surprises. I have a little problem here. Yeah, put a little more clay there. <clears throat> Oh, it's a good, uh, it's very, very good, very good material. But you know, it's um, it's different compared to Fimo. It's different, but it's not uh, 
it's just a little different under the tool, you know, but um, when it comes to what you can or can't do, uh, it's very, very comparable. So if you have FEMO, use FEMO, it's great. I know that uh, you can uh, you can smooth uh, Bisputi. There is one different though. Uh, I know that uh, you can smooth Bisputi using um, isopropanol, which is uh, not a very good option for uh, for Fimo. Never tried for uh, Sculpey it dries it. But uh, coming from the the, the the guy behind the company, I mean, at the head of the company, the creator, uh, he he can use isopropanol. Oh, I'm out of focus. Ah, oh, not good, not good. I will add a light. Yeah, that's better. Is it better? Yeah, sorry. Forgot to light everything. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's good and he's fast. I should consider to buy more lights. I mean, better one. Because here I have one good light uh, from uh, from the light company, but other one is not that good. Oh yeah, Tom Mason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good too. Yep. Very good sculptor too. And uh, his videos are, if I remember well, are very, very, very well made, very well put together. I mean, yep. I'm not. I'm, I'm not very. Um, um, how can I say that? Um, aware of every every videos coming from uh, from sculptor. I should check check out more because uh, I think there is great stuff. I, I know that every minute I think there is something like there are something like seventy two hours video uploaded on YouTube. So I should check. <laughs> I should check. Uh, check out more. <laughs> should check more. Yeah. But yes, the Mason I know know that Trovarian also made some good, very good videos about sculpting. Uh, I uh, I had some references. Um, I had a lot in mind and uh, for that, yeah, I think I, I don't have any references now, but uh, when I began, yes, I, uh, I, I used some just for, just for not, you know, not making any, any big mistake, but now I'm refining everything just by my, uh, my high, my eye and my, uh, 
intuition, I can say, if I can say that. But sometimes I check some uh, some references. It's very important to uh, to use to use them. Ah, uh, cat hair everywhere. That's better. That's better. But yeah, references are extremely important. But uh, you know, you 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 can reach a certain level in which you don't have to uh, to always. Uh, have references, but yeah, it's pretty much in your in your head. Oh yeah, the scale has been an issue. It can be difficult to stick to a scale. I'm using um, I'm using some uh, some 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 uh, some paper, you know, with uh with some some grid, um. Some, uh, some some grid in millimeters, you know, and uh, I, I I draw uh, a simple uh, simple figure with uh, the the good the good dimension. Uh, I, I draw a stick figure and I use it for uh, referencing my um, my armature. It's making things a lot easier to uh, stick to a good scale. Yep, okay, so that's not bad. I should push that a little more. Oh, you're welcome. It's working great. Okay. Okay, now I have to scrap things a little here. Most of the time I'm working like that. Draw, uh, draw the thing. Can help to um, to draw, you know, um, not just one view, not just the front view. You can draw also uh, the the side views. Can help. And I know that some companies uh, basically uh, are selling this type of stuff, but uh, made on a nice, you know, nice mat. That I think Grand Stuff World is making something like that. You have a cutting mat with uh, with those um, those stick figures for uh, you know you have various one depending on a scale. It can be great to to have that too, but I prefer to draw mine. Oh yeah, you saw that. Can be handy. So now I need to, yeah, that part should be pushed a little. Oh, that's a good way. Yeah, good way to work using pictures of other miniatures. I get uh, far too long. <laughs> uh, 
I'm very an undisciplined guy. Um, if I had, you know, uh, some kind of a deadline and um, and a, a concept art, you know, if I, I just had to sculpt maybe two weeks, Two weeks can be great. Could could be enough for for me to do a model. But uh, yeah, since that is uh, one of my uh, my stuff, I'm you no. Know, sometimes I'm running out of idea, or I need to do something else. And also, I just you know I I didn't planed anything for that one I just took some some wire put some uh, some aluminium foil and uh, just glued some uh, some sheet of clay and begin to work so I made uh, I made mistakes I uh, I had to you know to go back and forth just trying stuff but with a proper proper concept art with uh, with the, the, the basic design um, already fixed, yeah, two weeks maybe for being you know very comfortable and not uh, not rushing anything. But yeah, I uh, I know that I should try to focus more on my uh, on my speed. I'm too slow, far too slow. When when uh, when I'm working on my own uh, my own stuff, oh, I've been sculpting for I don't know something like uh, six seven years. Not, you know, not consistently, not not doing only sculpting. I also paint and uh, draw. Just doing. I think I, I should. Uh, I should focus on only uh, only one thing, but uh, it's very difficult. Very difficult for me to stick to only one activity. Oh. When it comes to painting, I paint for I, I, I've been painting painting for I don't know something like um, <laughs> almost twenty years, <laughs> and uh, definitely uh, the experience you have as a painter is uh, is a good help when it comes to uh, to, to, to 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 figure sculpting. It's very, very interesting. So maybe that's why it's not. Uh, it took me not that long to understand some some things about sculpting. No, no. <laughs> I always thought that um, it's very interesting to um, to sculpt, even a little for a painter, and to paint for a sculptor, and. I have to add that every these two activities can be a, of a great help for drawing, and vice versa. Actually, drawing helps a lot. Also, not the best draftman, but I can, I can draw, and that's very interesting. It's very useful. It's a useful tool. Here, okay. Not 
too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, just scrape that. Yeah, exactly. Hi, oh, Arno. Hello. Okay. Yeah, here I'm just focusing on, uh, you know, uh, trying to remove a little of those volumes just for departing to the left. And uh, yeah, I think the meteor, if I can say that, thicker uh, pectoral, pectoralis muscle is, uh, is better. So yeah. It's more balanced. Yeah, I think. So, I try to stick to this idea of scraping things up a little. And yes, after that one, I'll try to bake. I have uh, the Baron Samedi. It's uh, basically an uh, what it's what is called a Noisha. It's a, it's a type of god coming from uh, from ancient Vodou. It's a great character. So I made my version. Uh, I sculpted in situ and uh, actually made a little mistake because the beard is that big, you know, it's massive. So uh, I began to put some meshes before having complete, completed the, uh, the chest and uh, I ended up having a very unbalanced chest and uh, yeah, I was very reluctant to remove the beard. Uh, which I should have <laughs> and uh, so I, I kept it and uh, I tried to work around and that's why I am you know scraping things and readjusting things but yeah I sculpted it just just uh, ju just in situ yeah But uh, if you're trying this thing, definitely focus more on the uh, on the chest area before hunting <laughs> the thing because it's uh, it has been a major annoyance. Or just put the thing and remove it if you if you have to. Just don't do the same mistake. As he did. But I should try to um, to work with uh, with you know techniques with uh, with baking halfway. Oh yeah, <laughs> remember? <laughs> Definitely. But it's a uh, it's a mistake I will uh, try to avoid now. But yes, I, I saw some uh, some very great uh, videos coming from Japanese artists. Uh, they use uh, this type of clay, but uh, they they have multiple baking 
phases, you know, they, they, they have this, they sculpt the body, main part of the body, bake it in the oven, and after that, every details and stuff like that are, are baked using a heat gun. It's kind of interesting. These techniques are very, very different. Here, nothing is baked. Everything is, uh, you have a small, uh, a small armature inside, but uh, that's all. Yeah. Oh yeah, you you you're using that uh, that technique. Yeah, baking stage stages. Yeah. But when it comes to my uh, my work, I uh, always try to to do everything in one you know one uh, one big stage and bake once. Oh, you did it too, Arno. Half baking with a heat gun, yeah. Never tried. I tried half baking, but I used uh, I used an oven. It was uh, when I started to sculpt bigger stuff than just you know small figures. Um, but I ended up having cracks, and uh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Also, I, I I should try it because I um I, I I would like to to experiment. Uh, you know, uh, those bigger scales like one uh, one uh, one six stuff like that. No, just collectible thing uh, like one like, like the, 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 the statues made the, by uh, by Saicho or you know this bigger stuff so I, I'm considering using this uh, baking stages technique for that Love to sculpt uh, to sculpt a version of She Hulk, for example. I'm not a connoisseur of any type of comic books, you know, American comic books, but this character, uh, I like, you know, the, the the 80s or 90s version. Uh, this figure, no, everything is. Uh, is uh, is not baked. <laughs> it's, everything is uh, fresh. Nothing is baked. Nothing cured. So I have to uh, to be very careful. Very very careful. But that's why I. That's the main reason I I love Super Scopey Firm because uh, it's very. Uh, very stiff. I just have a small armature in it, uh, welded with uh, another wire coming from uh, shoulder to shoulder, and um, just one or two layers of aluminum foil, and uh, yeah, some uh, some clay uh, glued on top of it, and that's it. I am very stupid. I let it. Just, I, I just, you know, <laughs> stick it onto my desk and that's all. <laughs> it's just uh, nothing uh, in particular. Just put it on my desk. But it's stupid because uh, the clay can dry. And uh, also uh, it's stupid because uh, I can catch a lot of dust. Here, that's okay, but uh, yeah, this can be an issue. Mm. 
Oh yeah, I uh, I used to do that too. I'm just a lazy MF guy. <laughs> Try to avoid F bombs, but yeah, I'm just lazy and uh, kind of stupid. But it's uh, it's the best thing to do. Definitely the best thing to do. Oh, I have a couple of 28 millimeters almost finished. Should definitely try to work a little more on that too. My companion is so nice to me because she will be the 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 one who will uh, cast the thing. She is uh, very, very nice, very patient, to say. But uh, yes, with uh, everything going now, going on now, we'll need money. So I have to move my lazy bum. <laughs> But it's, uh, it's very, very difficult because uh, I have to compete with great stuff coming from digital sculptors. I mean, there are great stuff coming from traditional sculptors, but now digital stuff is great also. Yeah, I hope to finish it quite soon because I want to paint. I definitely want to paint that one because I, I will do my uh, my own uh, visual art. Oh yeah, you got the Tom Mason. Yes, he's using the same uh, the same technique. Yeah. Okay, take care, and uh, yeah, goodbye. Maybe catch you in the next live stream. Okay, uh, just share the thing on Twitter. <clears throat> Put of hashtags. Oh, it's not the best part of the thing, I have to say. Um, great. Um, Always have this. I'm always scared to 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 miss a hashtag. It could help people to find the thing. Uh, uh, 
Ein ja. ja Fantasy, I think it's good. And uh, another one. Polymer Quay. Great tweet. That's good. Mm hmm and now I don't know why I don't have music. Okay. So here we are good, I think it's nice. I'll just put some blob of clay. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try. Um, it's a, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work, but I definitely want to uh, make more videos, you know, with a, with a good uh, proper editing. Uh, so yes, I, uh, I definitely am considering doing it. Um, yeah. The problem is my, uh, my lack of uh, dedication. <laughs> But definitely, I uh, I should uh, I should do more 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 videos, more tutorial, um, because uh, everything has been improved. You know, uh, I'm I'm a better sculptor now, and uh, also a better uh, and better English speaker. So uh, my English is not perfect, but it's understandable. I'm not very, very, very dedicated to, you know. Holy crap, I don't know why it's not sticking to the surface. Stick you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's true. Not a lot of people sculpting, uh, yeah, sculpting very small scale. I have to say it's quite difficult to, uh, to, to, to sculpt, and to sculpt, yes, but to, uh, to, 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 to catch on video, you know, to, um, to shoot. Oh yeah, a brewing, yeah, 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 that's good. He uses, um, magic sculpt, I think, brewing. Sculpt with magic. Yeah, another very good one. I uh, I think I have painted a couple of figures he made for for young miniatures. It's very good. I think he worked for young miniatures. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely very good sculpture. Yeah. Okay. I dropped my scope. And I think he worked also for uh, for Pegaso for I know that he worked also for Alexandros. God, I love Alexandros. I have a couple of figures just ready to be painted. What a great brand. One of my favorites. If it's not my favorite. 
very 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 good figures great style I love uh, I love uh, the, the the Romans sculpted by uh, La Ruccia very 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 good I saw a very very nice meme from uh, uh, I think the guy is um, the guy's name is uh, Daniele Trovato showing what a lot of people thought that's that the, the, the sculpting process was it was just you know um, portrayed as a straight line and what it's true what it truly is and it was uh, you know uh, a mess of lines, uh, dark and stuff <laughs> going everywhere. Kind of like this meme. Pretty accurate. Uh, yeah. Okay. Not too bad. some clay here just a little bit there yep spaghetti yeah <laughs> exactly it is very messy uh, I uh, I remember uh, reading something coming from uh, from Mark Newman. I love Mark Newman. I love the way he works. I really enjoy the style. And uh, I think it was I think it was him saying that um, that uh, sometimes he didn't know where he was heading to while sculpting. Just sculpted, sculpted, adding clay, removing clay trying things and uh, ending up just removing everything and having a mess and and he just kept doing things until uh, eventually he began to resemble at something. <laughs> uh, I really like the way he just experienced things like uh, like 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 that very very simple. Yeah, Mark Newman, great, great guy, great guy. Oh yeah, definitely yes, yes. Uh, focusing on the main volumes and uh, before adding any detail, yeah, it's always better. Always better, yeah. Because sometimes you just add details, details, and if your volume has to be reworked, you have to remove anyone, and it's any any you have to remove to remove every detail, and uh, yeah, this can be a uh, a bummer. <laughs> Okay. Okay. 
Pushing my uh, lower part in front a little more. Okay. Okay. Bye. And uh, thanks for coming. Okay, not too bad here. Holy crap! Crap, crap, crap. Here, there. And smash the guy in place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trying to tune things up a little more. <clears throat> but yes, I think I'm in in the right direction now. Has been a little difficult for me to uh, to find the right way for this one, but now I think I fixed my uh, my mistakes. Great. It's better. It's better like that. Better, better. Ah, uh, huh. I think I need liquid sugar. <laughs> Bye. thinking pizza or not pizza tonight that's the question <laughs> that's the freaking question okay So, 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 now... Uh, I'm not that bad if I just grab a little more here. Scrap that, giving some dynamism. Okay. Okay, okay. I think I should consider also to uh, to sculpt Cyberfrog. Because, uh, yeah, I uh, commented uh, on Twitter, uh, commented a, uh, a tweet from uh, from uh, Mr. Van Skyver, saying that I could paint. He was sharing a very uh, nice... Uh, digital sculpt of uh, his character, Cyberfrog. And I said, if you need a painter, come me in. And I showed some, some so I show a sample of my uh, 
work as a painter and uh, yeah he had some very kind words so now I should consider to sculpt and paint maybe you know uh, a model a unique model no uh, no casting just one thing No, no, I'm thinking of, uh, of that. Could be nice. And there's also a couple of uh, great, great French comics like uh, Funérailles, uh, Freak Squeal. Really enjoy Florent Modou. I have freak squeal, but uh, my uh, my girlfriend she 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 read it. But now I just read Finale, which is a spin-off. The guy is a great artist. He is very very good. And, uh, his character are very 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 interesting and funny, but not just funny. And like everyone, I love Oran du Scorpion, also known as Mammut. She is overweight, but still sexy and strong and nice and funny as hell. <laughs> it's a great character, very entertaining, but not just entertaining. You know, she is uh, she is very. Very interesting. Yeah, like Florent Modou. Definitely, I like. I like his work. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I have to remove a little more here. And yeah, another piece of advice and a note to myself also. This type of tool is definitely one of the best ideas I've had. I've ever had. <laughs> I'm, I didn't invent it any anything. I, okay, it's very inspired by uh, by the spatula from the whole one from Games Workshop. But uh, yeah, so useful, so freaking useful. Anyway, what is you know, when when you're learning how to sculpt? It's very important to uh, also learn how to build your tools. Because, like everyone else, I bought a lot, lot of tools, uh, and I ended up just using the one I made. <laughs> But yeah. Okay. Uh. Not too bad. Just trying to push a little more things on the left side. It 
it's kind of important to uh, to do it here because my figure is not perfectly balanced there are some things I have to improve Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, okay. Clean things up a little because because <laughs> okay Sorry. Serratus, I think it's the proper name in English. Serratus. What's so funny is uh, in, in the, the for the most part, the name of the muscles in French are just French. But in English, a lot of them are in Latin. It's funny. That's funny. Mm, yeah, that part is too thick. Okay. I'm slowly re re rebuilding some kind of um, balance. But yeah, it's always a struggle to sculpt those those big guys with big muscles. Uh, yeah, it's not easy, not easy at all. You know, there is this um thing that is uh, always said that girls are uh, more difficult to sculpt than guys uh, for me it's not that uh, that true I'm more used to sculpt girls actually Like the the, the 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 cyber punkish girl I made. 
some people thought she looked like gothics. It was uh, funny because uh, I didn't knew who gothics was while uh, sculpting this uh, cyber cyberpunkish girl. But yeah, definitely there is a little something. So right now I want to make a proper portrait of gothics. She is a YouTube commentator. Seems to be very nice. And she has an interesting face. Besides being a very beautiful woman, but there is something interesting, definitely. So, yeah. It is not easy to sculpt a portrait, you know, just when looking at pictures, uh, because because pictures can be uh, deformed, you know. Okay, not that bad. And here, just to remove a little more, try to dig right here into the armpit. Okay, there. <laughs> he is a big boy. <laughs> okay. It's also why I love this type of tool because it's very easy to scrape to, to scrap a little scrap things and to flatten other parts. It's very, very, very interesting. It's definitely uh, the, the best tool I have right now. <laughs> so useful. It's just some brass wire. Nothing too fancy. Boxwood for the handle and uh, epoxy glue. Oh hi, uh, George or uh, your Jorge. Uh, no, it's uh, it's polymer clay. It's uh, super scopy. Firm. It's that. Mm. Sorry. It's. Uh, my favorite clay when it comes to uh, to sculpting busts like that. But magic is great. I love magic. I uh, I, I use it um, for uh, for prepping my figures for painting. It's wonderful, wonderful, uh, wonderful clay. No beauty, epoxy beauty, but it's great. Great, great, great. Now, here it's polymer clay. Because polymer clay is very... Uh, it's very, very nice to work with. Uh, for guys like me, you know, you can pretty much do whatever you want before baking it so you can uh, can experiment can 
try things. It matches perfectly the way I uh, I work. I tried to use uh, epoxy uh, epoxy beauty, but um, for making a complete figure, I didn't enjoy it. But I know that there are some very 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 great uh, sculptors. Earlier we talked we talked about Ibroin. You know that Ibroin uses uh, uses um, magic sculpt. It's great. It's great material. <laughs> There's also um uh, 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 uh sorry uh milliput milliput kind of good milliput or a mix of uh, milliput and uh, green stuff it can be very very interesting to use too. Oh, notifications. Okay. Uh, music, music, music. Uh, we'll use. Um, I want some music. Uh, that one. Great. And. Uh, okay. Oh, hi, Centurion. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Thanks. Uh, so it's uh, Rohe. And best regards from uh, from France. <laughs> really like the... <laughs> The, the name Centurion. I I have painted a Centurion, um, Quintus Sertorius Festus from um, from uh, Alexandros model. A great figure. I definitely want to buy another one to try to make a better version. I was not very okay with my uh, my first one. I will try to order uh, another one. It's a uh, it's a great figure. It's beautiful Centurion. And the 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 the, the face. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's coming from. Uh, I think uh, the sculpture is Adriano La Rocia. It is wonderful. I love the style. It's so good. I I love uh, historical figures. There's plenty of great stuff. There's also a very nice Centurion uh, from um, uh, yeah, Young Miniatures. Oh, oh yeah, beautiful figures, beautiful figures, so inspiring. Love this one. My Latin is so rusted. Hmm. There's a guy on YouTube, uh, Metatron. He can speak Latin. It's just so amazing. <laughs> yeah, he's fluent in Latin. I mean, he's fluent in something like 10 languages. And I'm struggling with English. What a failure compared to this guy. <laughs> That run is kind of incredible. The man is brilliant. Oh, it's been a while since, uh, since I watched one of his uh, videos. With his uh, gimmick, Hello Noble Ones. Yeah, he's Italian. I 
I watched one video in which he tried to 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 you know speak uh, to speak in each language he he knew. His French was almost perfect. Incredible. And I know that I know that he learned uh, Japanese and Chinese at the same time. Very impressive, very impressive. Should try to uh, to to learn a little of Italian because uh, there's plenty of uh, great stuff for miniatures from Italy, like. Um, the, the the plinth from uh, uh, I think his name is uh, his name is Dino Pivato as a a woodworker is very good very very good love his uh, his work but the guy doesn't speak doesn't speak a word of English so uh, should definitely try to uh, Learn at least a little of Italian. And uh, yeah. Yeah, big part of the written language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> between Japanese and uh, Chinese, yes. But what's very, very impressive okay, when it comes to, uh, to, to Metatron, uh, it's that the guy lived in Japan for two years, I think, and um, he worked just as any, any regular Japanese citizen and uh, I heard that it can be very, very hard. You know, when you're a European guy, if you're working um, as a part of an international program or stuff like that in, Jap in Japan, it's, uh, it's not the same as trying to work just like any other Japanese, Japanese guy. So uh, yeah, he... Uh, He's done it the hard way. Which is also kind of impressive. <laughs> But I bet he can't sculpt. <laughs> Maybe he can. Oh no. Please. Let me alone. Let my shtick alone. <laughs> okay. I like sculpt, sculpting meltits. <laughs> I will have to remove the nipples. Here I have uh, some stuff to to work around. But now I'm just letting it because uh, it's a good uh, good landmark. So. Okay. It's not too 
and just hand some clay Yep, little uh, blob. Uh, yeah. yeah, the inner part here. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I tried to learn Japanese once, but um, since I'm not using using it on a daily basis, I am I pretty much, you know, forgot everything. <laughs> but yeah, I'd love to speak Japanese way above what I can expect, but uh, yeah. Japanese could be very interesting. Oh, that's not bad, that's not bad. Uh, okay. There, splotch, smash that clay. You want to squish that clay? <laughs> Always thinking of that uh, that meme, you know, squish that cat. What you want is to squish that cat. <laughs> That's funny. And I also like to squish to squish my cat. <laughs> okay, there it is. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay, trying to tune things up. to uh, take care of undercuts because I I can have some undercuts but not too deep because uh, I want to be able to mold the thing in one piece just for avoiding any type of uh, you know need of Cutting things and uh, and having a, having a kit requiring assembly. I want the thing to be to to be to to be uh, ready to be painted right of the box. So I have here an undercut that could be a problem. But if it's not too deep, silicon, you know, the, the, the silicon I use will uh, be able to overcome this. 
this thing definitely I have to uh, keep that in mind while sculpting because undercuts can be bitches definitely cutting part is definitely something I don't like <laughs> it can be very stressful specifically when you're uh, you have to cut the uh, the armature which here is uh, is made of um, galvanized iron so it's uh, can be hard uh, clay can be used for vulcanized mold casting uh, yeah I think yes yeah I'm, yeah 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 I think I think it can uh, it can handle the, 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 the temperature uh, yeah so I never never used this that way but uh, I think it's possible or uh, maybe it's better to uh, you know make make a, a first uh, f first mold uh, and a first cast in uh, in in resin and after that maybe uh, maybe build your 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 vulcanized mold uh, with that. But I th I think you can uh, you can use uh, you can use it in uh, in that process I think, but uh, take it with a grain of salt. By the way, remember reading something on the old white dwarf from Games Workshop. Uh, explaining uh, how the Perry brothers have uh, completely uh, <laughs> uh, messed up one of their figures. They sculpted uh, a figure with a, a core of uh, of plasticine or you know oat based clay. So uh, when they tried to, uh, to 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 mold the thing in uh, with the vulcanized uh, process. Um, the the temperature just the heat uh, made the the, the 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 old base clay core boil. Everything has been li liquefied and it boiled. So the figure just bursted, <laughs> exploded everywhere. And uh, yeah. They're writing about it, uh, saying that it was uh, funny, but uh, they, they had to clean everything and uh, the model was pretty much destroyed. <laughs> so when it comes to old base clay, no. <laughs> Can't work with, uh, with vulcanized molding. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yes, it's better. It's better. I know that I worked for uh, for a very small company. Uh, they. Uh, uh, he used a uh, uh, you know a uh, first uh, first casting in uh, in resin and those resins were sent to the the, the, the last uh, workshop you know uh, it was in it was in China um, for uh, for being uh, molded I think with uh, with uh, the vulcanized mold Okay, maybe 
yeah, should. Yeah, I need to just hand a little bit of clay. Here. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. I'm not out of frame now. Great, great. Okay. It's good. That's okay. Nice little blob. <laughs> okay. Flattening, flattening the thing here. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's a little too flat, so. I need to add just small amount of clay uh, yeah flatten the thing and put it here yep it's very important there nice 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 Okay, tuning volumes, it's always a struggle for me. There are some guys who are able to uh, skip this part. They're just having, you know, the good volumes right away. But for me, I don't know why, but I need to I always need to uh, tune things up. Trying to better match what I have in uh, in mind, I guess. Okay. It can be quite tedious. <sighs> okay. Quite tedious to put it mildly. Mm. Okay. It's done and it's not too bad. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, and here it's just a little too thick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also remember watching guys scrapping metal surfaces in order to have a very almost perfect flat surface. Mm. 
the way they work was uh, very, uh, I don't know, it was, um, soothing, if I can say, it was, yeah, very chill, cool. I always love to watch the, this, those, uh, you know, um, old skilled workmen, you know, doing things, taking their time. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's not too bad. Try to scrape a little more, but I think it's be okay to be enough. Okay. Here, deep toe there. Remove a little bit of clay. Make this volume more independent. Should try to do some kind of a marathon, you know. Just making an armature, uh, just off screen gluing some clay on top of it. But after that, just trying to live stream everything from uh, almost start to, 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 to finish in one go. I don't know if it's possible for me to do this type of thing, but I should consider to. Uh, this try could be funny no working uh, straight away not making the best model ever but uh, trying to make something from start to finish in a, in a big live stream of don't know 12 hours something like that my record is uh, 12 hours I think 11 or 12 hours Of uh, continuing uh, continued live stream. Not a healthy record, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not very healthy, yeah, definitely, but uh, yeah, it was a great experience, and I really enjoyed it. I think I I, uh, I reached the twelfth hour. I think. Mm. 
don't remember what I was doing. Painting, sculpting, drawing. Can't remember. Okay. Oh yeah, the same here. While painting, it's uh, now I uh, I can uh, I can pretty much paint for hours and hours and hours, and uh, it is not uh, it's not that big of a deal, and I have not big troubles to see what I have to improve or it's kind of, you know, it's simpler for me than sculpture. I think there are more back and forth, back and forth movement uh, in, the, in the sculpting process, at least mine. Uh, 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 uh. No, that's good. That's good, that's good. Okay, try to add a little bit of clay here. A little bit of clay here. Great, and okay. That's okay, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, okay. The balance is uh, almost here. Yeah. Also, I will uh, try to. Uh, I had a note project in mind. Uh, Sculpting, uh, sculpting some uh, ethnical models. Uh, like uh, I began, uh, I began a few years ago to sculpt a a Himba woman, but uh, it was not that good. Now I know that I can do something a little, not just a little, far better, uh, better aesthetic. Better style overall, and uh, yeah, this could be very interesting too. And I want to sculpt gladiators. I've painted the the the, the one from uh, Alexandros model. Uh, it has been sculpted by uh, by a guy named Caballero, I think. Can't remember the the first name, but uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. A little tiny mistake uh, on the okria. Uh, it's it's uh, it's an okria from a, a Thrax, you know. It's a uh, it's it's very very high it's a very big one but uh, apart from that very nice model 
and this mistake uh, is not that big of a deal. I mean, the style is so good. Beautiful figure. But uh, very, very difficult to... Uh, the assembly is very hard. Very hard. Because uh, you have something like uh, 17 pieces, all in metal. And it's... Uh, yeah. The adjustment is quite difficult. Quite difficult to do. And it's a, a 75 millimeter figure, so uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's quite quite big and heavy. But very old school one, very interesting. Okay, so that's good, that's good, that's good. Little too much there. Try to remove here. Okay. Okie dokie, smash the thing in place, spread a little, okay. Good, good, good. Just some sugar. <laughs> mm. Really like Dr. Pepper, but um, it's not healthy at all. Okay, so everything is pretty much okay-ish, I have to say. Uh, 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 maybe... Uh, maybe I could add just a little bit of clay here. It's uh, not easy for me because I'm trying to avoid, uh, you know, those, uh, those, those, those very round uh, pectoralis muscles, uh, the one you can find on the, on on bodybuilder's chest, you know, but I want them to be kind of massive. I want to, you know, this feeling of uh, of, uh, of of strength and of, uh, but, but trying to avoid the swollen aspect. It's not very easy. 
yeah, just here. Pectoral is minor. Just pushing underneath. Uh, to have this small volume here. You know, a little bump here. Which is going to blend uh, within uh, within this part, you know, uh, with uh, the deltoid muscle and the biceps. So I want to have this little volume blended because they're skin. Yeah. <laughs> That's also another type of um, hurdle to uh, overcome, you know, uh, trying to avoid uh, the, the scorched, scorched aspect, you know, think just like it was a scorched figure. Know that it's one of my uh, one of my flaws. I have to uh, take care of that. Always keeping in mind that I have to uh, to sculpt just like it. The, the, I have to. I'm not, sorry. I have to 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 think of the skin and the the, the little amount of fat. You know. On, on top of uh, of those uh, those muscles, so try to bear that in mind. Ah, uh, yeah, and nice like that. It's better, 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 better. Yeah, have here the small bump here. Which will uh, change the overall equilibrium here in this part. I will have to maybe change one thing or two, but overall, the figure will be improved. At least I hope so. At least I hope so. Ah, uh, yeah. If I'm taking that here, just folding a little. Uh, yeah, good. Too much. Don't want to smash everything. Great. Okay. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. and this will be okay just try 
trying to blend everything. Okay. And folding behind here. That also will be an undercut and this undercut. It's just a little too deep. But I can after after baking it you could uh, fill those uh, undercuts with a little bit of epoxy beauty. Yeah. Okay. Back to that. Oh, I watched something. I, I saw something on Twitter. Beautiful figure. Uh, and it's gone. that uh, Van Skyver made uh, uh, at least he commissioned a sculpture to uh, make a beautiful uh, PVC figure of uh, one of his characters. Okay. That's good. Here, that's okay. Little amount of clay. Uh, there. Just a little more. Just a little more there. I also made a very small scale uh, dwarf slayer, but uh, it was one of my first model. Definitely should consider to make another one because it's 
people tend to uh, like like that sculpt so I'm definitely considering to make another version it was a true 20 28 millimeter so very very small made in Fimo Great, 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 great. It's better, it's better that way. and not too bad here Little patch. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm working uh, almost always with uh, with polymer clay, but I I have some uh, some old base. Definitely, I want to give it another another go. It's, it's a very very nice process. I like to to work with that too, but um, most of the time I'm working with polymer clay.
tried monster clay which is um yeah. very nice even though I almost burnt myself with it but uh, yeah <laughs> all in one it's a very good old base clay Another little patch. No, I used the cooking one. <laughs> exactly. It's not. I can't recommend it, but uh, yeah, I have no problem with that. But I, uh, I focused a lot of my uh, on my how to bake the thing because uh, my oven is uh, my oven is very very small, you know. And even if I'm setting it at the minimum, you will reach, you know, to more than two hundred degrees Celsius. So uh, I set it to the bare minimum. I have a small uh, thermometer from uh, from uh, Gerstacker, the, the 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 company making Fimo. And uh, the the thing is, I, I put my uh, my small uh, um, thermometer in it, and uh, I bake my figures uh, with the door slightly open, and uh, just for curbing, you know the 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 the, the, the increase of uh, of heat and uh yeah when uh, it reaches uh, something like uh, 130 degrees uh i completely open the oven uh until things um cool down to uh 110 degrees and after that i just pushed back the door uh slightly open and uh, yes, I'm doing that for the whole uh, baking process. And when I reach, you know, uh, when it remains just one or two minutes, I close the door, let the heat go uh, skyrocket, you know, I'm coming uh, can reach one, uh, 150 degrees and the oven will stop and I let it cool down with the door closed because if you're if you're if you're having you know a, a heat a, a temperature heat you know if you're if the inside of your figure is still hot and the outside uh, brutally cooling down that's that's specifically at that time that you will have uh, you will have cracks so I'm trying to avoid cracks at any cost. So yeah, I'm using the, the, the cooking oven and I'm very dedicated to my process to avoid any cracks. Definitely don't want any cracks on my figures. Um, you can have something quite durable uh, using uh, the hard version of uh, like 
monster clay because the art version is very very hard and uh, yeah you can paint on top of it uh, I know that some guys uh, I saw some uh, some some painters uh, painting right on, uh, on 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 the the model made on made with uh, with old base clay, it's possible. It can be quite durable. Specifically, if you're using the yes the the the, the hardest uh, version you can find. It's very comparable to wax. Okay, good enough, I think. Yeah. I know a French painter uh, named uh, Jérôme Otremba. Uh, this guy, I, I saw him painting uh, painting monster clay models. So yeah, it's possible. Ah, uh, 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 yeah, it's better. That's better, 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 better. Okay. Gently. Okay. Very gently squishing the thing here. Very light hand. Use my my loop tool. For smoothing things a little. Cool. And that is Okay, that's okay, and that's okay too. Great stuff there, that's cool. Yeah. 
to balance the other side, but yeah. This was a good thing to do here because I think my yes muscles are are better now with that. Oh hi Joe. Hi Joe. Yep, long time. I was away from YouTube. At least as a content creator. <laughs> Uh, I tend to just finish the whole model before baking. Uh, yeah. But I will try to um, to use uh, you know the the multiple baking stuff for for bigger bigger figure. Like if I ever try to sculpt, uh, you know, in one six scale. Maybe I uh, will have to to use to use this type of technique. I used it once for a very big, uh, very big Space Marine statue uh, made uh, as a, as a uh, background element. But uh, yeah. I had multiple cracks, so I try to avoid to uh, bake multiple times. And for my most recent models, I just bake one time at the end. Okie dokie, here, me too. Assess there, great and nice. Okay, that's cool. That's okay. Just wait. To... Oh, I hope everything. Uh are now going well for you and uh, yeah quite a quite a profound biscuit oh yeah i will definitely try i should try also i have too much uh, too much polymer clay i have no big stash but uh yeah i really really enjoy biscuit should definitely try the the quadruple firm too I should give it a try. Okay. Ouch. Okay. That's not good. Yeah, that's can be very painful. It can be very, very painful. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Ja. I'm definitely have a, have a try. It would be pretty. Yeah, I, uh, I used the uh, old uh, older version, you know, um, Bisputi uh, Bisputi plastic firm, and uh, yeah, it's it was already quite good. So uh, I think that now uh, everything has improved. It's a great material, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Just try to have another little batch for. Proving this junction here because it's too harsh to, to be smoother, much smoother. I need this to be far, far much smoother. Oh, great. Let's hope that uh, it will be uh, sufficient to treat uh, to treat your annuation. Non-invasive uh, treatment. It's better, yeah. <laughs> that. Okay, another one. Oh, something I definitely don't like when I try to tune things up and it's becoming strange. Oh, yeah. Just to avoid tension, I mean, in your, in your neck, I think, yeah. Better to avoid this type of activity. And if you're re, uh, re a little, let's, uh, let's hope that it will not wake the pain up, you know. Okay. 
yeah i hope that uh your you can recover i mean uh you and your your range if it's uh going well uh, it's doing well it's great yeah you lost a bit of momentum That is great here, that's good. If I just hmm. Oh, that's great. If you had uh, let's hope that your your customer will place other orders that you can rebuild. For you, it will uh, enable you to rebuild some uh, new momentum. Great, you stuff rich Australian US. Great, beautiful. Yeah, finger crossed. And yes, you had some uh, some result with uh, acupuncture for radiation. She can relieve pain. It's great. It's great. That's not too bad. Here. Since their skin and a little fat. It's better like that. Okay. Try to separate these two parts here. And that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the United States, I had a nice, uh, nice comment from, uh, from uh, EVS on Twitter about uh, about a painting I've done a while ago. I was kind of glad, I have to say. Definitely would love to cross that damn pond. Oh. But yeah. Yep, yeah, definitely. I saw uh, I saw some uh, 
some stuff. A uh, nice, uh, nice uh, salamandroid toy. Great toy. Big one. Very nice. And also a PVC figure of a, a girl. I don't remember the name. One of the his character. And uh, yes, very, very nice sculpt. Yeah, me too. I want to buy a PC and uh, and try. I saw some great stuff uh, with a VR setup. I definitely want to try that. Uh, yeah, Joe uh, is from uh, from Greece. And yes, in France. Can have some strange stuff. Yep. Yeah. 3D printers are quite impressive right now, yeah. And uh, yeah, not too expensive for a good amount of details. I should try, but I'm not very, I uh, don't know. It's not, truly really not my shtick, but I, tr I have to try. Because it's uh, it's the future, but um... yeah, don't know why I prefer to uh, work with uh, with clay. But yes, it's uh, definitely the future. Something uh, like figures for dioramas. Yeah, and I uh, since I'm not no I'm not. Mm. Not young. Uh, it's uh, it's a new stuff to learn and uh, completely learn from scratch. It's it's something uh, I'm not. I don't know. I'm maybe not interested enough. I don't know. But I I, I should try to uh, to force myself a little because um, it's it's uh, it's uh, yes it's. This is the new standard, so have to adapt, I guess. Yeah. You know what uh, truly uh, got me? Uh, it's when I saw um, Thomas David using a 3D sculpt. Just thought, okay, yeah, 
Okay, page has been turned. Now I have to uh, I have to adapt, but uh, it's yeah. Very, uh, very, um, oh no, eerie, strange feeling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Early updates. Yeah. Oh, I saw the trend on Twitter. People, uh, uh, saying that, uh, you know, you have um, resign resignation fees if you, uh, if you uh, resign from their, uh, their, their, uh, their, their, their stuff. And uh, yeah, people were unhappy to say the least. which I can understand. It's very, very pricey. Far too much. Oh, yes. Both of you, <laughs> yes, Adobe is terrible now, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, oh yes, I, I saw some some of them, but uh, you know, I have to um, dedicate myself, and since I'm not, no, not truly hooked by that, it will be an effort for me, yes. I also thought, of learning Blender, but um, it's kind of complicated. It's very frustrating because uh, sculpting is not that big of a deal, but when you have to find your tools, new process, ouch. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Cats hair every freaking where, and it's not good at all. Here, okay, the balance is better, it's better balanced right now. Okay, I'll try. Uh, I plan to try uh, to try uh, procreate and uh, and uh, clip studio paint. I just got it on my iPad. We'll try. But but yes, do. Digital thingy for drawing or uh, sculpting. It's not my thing. I'm not. I'm almost uh, uh, a boomer trapped in a in a in in, in a millennial uh, body. <laughs> yep, definitely. Yeah. This will uh, increase uh, everything in uh, everything will be faster and, uh, and, and yes easier and yeah and selling 3d uh, 3d files it's uh, can be a good uh, good thing yep not bothering with casting or shipping stuff mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yep. So yeah, the overall process is uh, make things a little easier. Definitely. And yes, reading what you say, uh, what you write. I imagine you uh, you had a. Uh, very difficult pose to uh, to cast, to mold and cast after that. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, things for you know for. For small scale figures, if you have to to sculpt an open hand or you know, something, you know, and it's in that idea, with uh, digital sculpting is it's it's very very uh, very much it's easier. It's definitely easier, faster, and uh, less tedious. Because open hand on uh, on twenty millimeters, uh, it's not easy. Yo. Okay. <laughs> exactly. I tend to uh, always try to uh, stick, uh, you know, uh, the the ring finger and the middle finger together, <laughs> because uh, it gives a nice pose, it has a nice dynamism, and it's uh, it's easier to uh, to cast, and it's uh, it's stiffer, it's yeah, overall better. Okay, that's not too bad. If I just do this. Mm -hmm. Open hands, yeah. That is a true. Um, How can I say that? True mm. patience tests, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. What I, I I'm scared of uh, seeing, you know, people saying that they're sculptors, um, while only you know sticking assets on top of each other's. It's one maybe it's this type of grift. I. Uh, uh, I tend to uh, to be scared about. 
because uh, yeah, 3D sculpting is is really sculpting, and it's uh, it's it's not uh, it's it's a lot of work, and uh, no, no no problem with that. And then digital sculpt is definitely something. Uh, it's a new tool. It's so yeah, but uh, since you can buy assets. I have to say, I, I, I'm, you know, fearing some kind of a social dump. No, not social dump, but some kind of a um, loss in, in the, 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 the way we value the work of sculptors. Yeah. And maybe that's my uh, old fart side, but <laughs> Let's, this is something I really don't like. And uh, I, I always try to avoid that while uh, sculpting, because even if in, uh, in, in that type of sculpt, I knew people who just bought basically models and uh, use that part, that part, that part. Uh, remember a guy you know he had to sculpt a, uh, a motorcycle but he bought, he bought one and he just had details and stuff like that but the basics were just the model he bought and uh, yeah now uh, when he asked me to uh, to do uh, to do a motorcycle to sculpt one I sculpted everything manage to sculpt everything but yes this this type of practice this is something I just don't like I think it's some kind of dishonest okay But uh, yes, I, I hope that there will always be room for traditional traditional sculptures and, uh, you know, traditional ranges. Because I have some 3D model, uh, some, uh, some dig digitally sculpted models, and uh, they're great. I mean, they're very good and so they're beautiful, but... Um, they lack they lack this specific um, sparkle the thing this I don't know it's it, it's not uh, uh, something coming from the, the not know the, the, the technology or but there is something very specific uh, in the in the aesthetical choices we make while working by hand. I have some, you know, comparable busts, comparable in size, in uh, in in sizes, in uh, in scales, uh, and yes, I I, I like the, the the digital one, but um, the, you know the traditionally sculpted one is better in my eyes. It's less perfect. I prefer, definitely. So, um, 
Photoshop didn't, you know, make uh, uh, draftmen disappear. So yeah, I hope there will be some some place there will be some place remaining for traditionally handmade stuff. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I hope there will not be, you know, some kind of um uh, vicious circle, you know, this type of dynamism. Um, like um, witnessing witnessing a, a constant uh, decrease of the of the value. You know, you 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 earn less for your work. Uh, therefore, you're using more assets, and you you're becoming less creative, and uh, this contributes to the fact that people wouldn't pay that much so they pay less so you use more assets and so on and so on and so on mm, yeah i think i think so but uh when i saw some some very good uh, photoshop artists uh, they 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 just are beasts when it comes to 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 work with traditional skills so they're just completely unhinged <laughs> with uh, with the digi with uh, the, the, this digital medium. So yeah, great artists are great, uh, regardless of the tool they are using. But there are also some hacks and uh, and frauds. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, definitely completely on board with that. But I think I also the, the I'm I'm slowly becoming uh, more and more and more an old fart. Uh it's because um no, on Discord or elsewhere, I saw some nice, very nice uh, digital paintings, but I don't know, not feeling the way I feel in front of a um, of a you no know, traditionally made stuff. Yeah. I have undercuts, but uh, it's not that uh, that, problem, that big of a deal. I have to uh, take care to not have uh, too much of them, but uh, the silicone we use is uh, quite flexible. And uh, for the um, deepest undercuts, uh, after baking, I will uh, just fill them with, uh, with Magic Sculpt. But uh, I here I need to 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 to, to tune everything up so uh, not 
too much focusing on that. I try to have them to have that in mind, but uh, yeah. That's not uh, not something I'm over focusing on right now. More focusing on trying to um, to tune every uh, every part because I, I had some trouble, you know, in the, the 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 overall balance of the thing. So here we'll need to add some clay, but I don't want to add too much because uh, I. It had just a little uh, shift to the right, so I had to to correct that. But yes, definitely have uh, a lot of here. That it's not that that a problem, but uh, yeah, I had some undercuts. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. You can uh, nourish your silicon by using some silicon oil. It's a great way to expand the life of your silicon mold. Yeah, definitely. I hope we will be able to uh, reach to reach that step, having a tired mold. Because I don't know if I will sell a lot of my uh, my figures, but... Um... Nice. Let's hope that people will like it. I had some very good feedback on that one. So, and I think, um, I think a good, a good paint job will do uh, great on that one. So, maybe I will paint some tattoos or something like, uh, Knife, you know, with a lot of uh, free-handed tattoos everywhere. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I was kind of surprised to see a trend, people painting busts. It's great, I'm so glad, I love busts. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's something I love to paint, it's something I love to sculpt, it's great. But I was kind of surprised to see that it was fashionable to uh, to paint busts that's cool it's a nice uh, it was a nice surprise to me for me yep okay so that's nice here it's not too bad everything is approximately in place Correction is not bad here, it's good. Okay, I think it's not too bad here. Scrap that. Oh yeah, never, never thought about that. 10 year tendency, oh yeah, maybe. I saw the rise of 75 millimeters figure. It were definitely something a few years ago. And are now also very uh, popular. But uh, yeah, bust. Uh, never, never thought it was that trendy 10 years ago. But yeah, maybe. Yeah. And I love, I love historical ones. 
good uh, a good historical bust is great and now I want to paint my uh, tracks tracks from uh, from young miniatures the thing has been uh, on my shelf for a couple of years I painted it and stripped the paint and repainted it and strip and paint and strip them will be it maybe the the, 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 fifth, the fifth version of it when I uh, painted another uh, another time oh yeah what I love about busts is uh, it's you know it's really uh, it's a good synthesis you have uh, you have the face you have some stuff around it that's it but I, I love full figures too in fact I love a lot of things because I love uh, I love small scales I love 54 millimeters because uh, it's not too big but you have plenty of room to express yourself and uh, yeah 75 it's I've painted one one or two and busts or I have something for for them but I like full figures regardless of the scale oh yeah stripping temptation I saw people saying that uh, nobody should strip the paint, should just paint and, and accept the results. I don't know. Maybe I'm too... Uh, prompt to, uh, to, 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 yes, to, to, to strip the uh, thing, but uh, a lot of my figures have been stripped multiple times. Oh yeah. You chipped the paint. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For now, I'm lucky. Didn't had this type of a uh, problem. Just dropped the model. I was. Uh, sculpting and I broke it but I managed to uh, overcome the anger and the frustration and uh, just remake the thing okay <laughs> okay most uh, professional when it comes to start and never finish anything and that's a problem that's a big problem for me Scrap, 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 a little more here. Oh, coming back. Sorry.
I was just checking if my uh, my girlfriend was uh, awake. Okay. Took a step by step story by Rison Sculptor. Yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely I feel the same. Uh, it's something that ha that uh, happened to me quite often. Being distracted and uh, not finishing stuff. I really admire the guys who can, uh, uh, you know, focus and not be distracted by anything. Focus, being, be dedicated to what they're doing. It's very impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Exactly, Centurion. Yeah. That's also why I'm trying to uh, get involved in, you know, um, Comics Gate stuff, because even though maybe I'm a... With some luck, if um, someone like uh, like uh, EVS or even, uh, even Cecil, you know, they like what I do. I, I definitely can do something for free because of the clout. You know, I'm, I'm searching, definitely searching after clout. Uh, I also had a very nice comment of coming from uh, Gothics. She has a, a rising new personality on YouTube and uh, yes yeah, she's very uh, very nice and uh, she's uh, she's cool and fun and yeah and since I uh, enjoy their contents I'm trying to, uh, to 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 show and maybe say that I can do some stuff because uh, because I'm not interested in and uh, and trying to, to 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 be involved in such thing is it's not a personal project, so I will have to finish, and I will. So it's something I definitely want to try. And uh, yeah, just like EVS say, he is uh, said he is uh, the human sunbeam. <laughs> the guy is funny as hell. And by the way, thank Joe. Thanks, Joe, because it's uh, you who made me discover those, uh, those guys like uh, EVS, Night's Edge. Also discovered the Latino Slant, which is a channel, uh, uh, a channel uh, dedicated to uh, to the. Um, um cultural aspect of um latin american latino americans it's uh in in the in, in the pop culture in general it's very nice kind of interesting and Polly, uh the guy behind this channel is uh is close to Min midnight sage guy from midnight sage very nice channel 
was a little, you know, not good uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yes, watching their content helped a lot. Very small channel. They, 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 back then, they, they, they were at something like 1,000 subs, something like that. Very small channel. Very nice. Good vibes. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Conan. I remember also. Uh, uh, I think it, Conan is a book, but um, I think I think Kalidor was the only movie with uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like Conan, the adaptation of Conan, but little less good, <laughs> if I remember well. Kalidor. Hmm. Funny stuff. Oh, the barbarians. <laughs> the... Uh... Twin brothers, I think one of them died. Oh, no. Sad. Yeah, it was... Okay, yeah, 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 it was Red Sonja. It's Red Sonja, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, Kalidor, it's about Red Sonja. Okay. Don't remember. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, speaking of muscles, I should definitely try to uh, watch a little more the have a Closer look to the work of uh, the Shiflet brothers. I'm on their Facebook group, and uh, yeah, it's very it's a nice group, and uh, their work is very interesting when it comes to muscles. It's very um, vivid. You no, know, it's very nice. Yeah, you know, very good. Uh, very good aspect. Very organic. It's great job. You no, know, they have this um, Vallejo aspect or Frazetta, you know, those big muscles. Very, very well put together. Oh, you know, I really like that. It's great. Uh, they, they can be a great inspiration and they are extremely uh, humble. Very, very humble guys. Not full of themselves. It's, uh, they, they are definitely a great inspiration. Not just in, uh, in sculpting, I have to say. Seems to be very cool, cool guys. Shiflet Brothers. I think they're from Texas. Mm. 
Yeah, Panini stickers albums. Yes, yes, yes. I had a couple of ones. Uh, you have the crappy soccer ones, which is uh, definitely something I don't like. But you had, uh, I, I had some Dragon Ball ones, which were great. <laughs> Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, it was funny as hell. And uh, maybe I, I didn't had that uh, myself, but uh, yeah, maybe uh, in the 70s or 80s, you can have these uh, Panini stickers, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I think I didn't had one, it's just that I, I'm not a soccer lover uh, at all. I mean, at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. <laughs> I think there is something I truly hate, I think it's soccer. No offense to anyone who uh, enjoy that, but... Uh, I live near a field and uh, it's just insufferable. Near a, near a playground, you know. Uh, so uh, every freaking day, no matter if it's... Well, if we, if we are on lockdown or not, you, you have people gathering there and making noises and yelling and eating their freaking ball and I'm droning and thumping noises. Oh yeah, you didn't care about soccer, but you had stickers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, this is something I just don't like. But yeah, those Panini stickers albums I had Dragon. I had two about Dragon Ball. Two about Dragon Ball and yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been a thing here too, and also the Pogs letter. Or 90, 90s stuff, but yeah, Pogs, definitely something that I've been traded and played with a lot. It was uh, great. Great, great. Okay. Let's go. Scrapping a little more there, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That I uh, have no no recollection of that, but uh, that sure would that sure uh, would have been um, glorious to have such uh, such Panini album with uh, specifically the the kind of spicy stuff from Vallejo. <laughs> that could be very, very funny. Yup. Vallejo, yeah. 
yeah, speaking of uh, Vallejo, it's make me uh, Boris Vallejo, Vallejo Paints. Uh, made me think of uh, Liquitex. I have to try. I bought some uh, acrylic gouache. We'll try to, to, to paint some figures with that. I heard some people tried it and said great things about it. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, yes, uh, hardcore prom <laughs> definitely could have uh, a customer base, you know, <laughs> having uh, Panini stickers just like uh, like uh, when you were kids, but with uh, adult content in it. It could be funny. Oh, didn't know that. Just browse, uh, browse it on Google. Uh, yeah, search golden transparent. Never, never heard of that. Yeah, seems to be very good. Oh yeah, they're good in the airbrush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should give it a try. Oh yeah, they don't clog, oh, that's cool, that's a cool feature, definitely. Oh, clogging the nozzle is always, always a bummer, hate that. It's been a while <laughs> since I used my uh, my airbrush for the last time, but yeah, hard to scratch. And they're they're uh, they have um, what type of finish, like uh, matte or or shiny? And. They're glossy, okay. That's not a problem, but uh, yeah, good to know. That's cool. And that's cool. Okay. Yeah, comparable to uh, FW Wings from Dollar Warney. Or uh, 
Liquitex Ink. It's basically the same product, I think. Okay. But with a more durable uh, result. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, I'll try. I'll try to find some. And I desperately want to uh, to try uh, to try camera colors. This seems to be very, very, very good. No mono pigment. But uh, they're always uh, always out of stock, you know. Very scarce. Okay. Mm, yeah. Yesterday, someone said that they um, they maybe they they will uh, remake them. But uh, yes, it's, for now it's really uh, it's annoying. Yeah, I think they're they're very good. I uh, definitely want to 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 to, to find a, a range for miniature painting with uh, with mono pigments, mono you know those those type of paints for for guys like me who love to to blend stuff. It's great, 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 great. Yeah. It can be a little expensive, yes, but oh, I'm so curious. Also, since I don't like the scale color, I uh, I have some, so I will try to use them anyway. Should uh, I have a nice bust sculpted by uh, Raphael Bonguet, who's a young French sculptor, and uh, yeah, I will try to paint his busts with uh, with those uh, those colors. I just don't like scale color, but uh, I know that you can achieve some great results with it. So I will try. Oh yeah, definitely yeah. But for uh, for camera colors, I don't know. I don't know if they're re a rebranded thing. I, I definitely don't know. But yes, that's something. Uh, yeah, that's definitely something. I'm curious to know where they they're making that 
from wet manufacturer. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I think yes. Yes, in Italy, but because I I, I remember uh, the, the 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 Citadel range for. Uh, for for a while been made in France by uh, Le Franc Bourgeois. So uh, in Italy, I don't know um, what manufacturer they have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the uh, the the you know the the, the whole range uh, after uh, after the uh, hexagonal pots and uh, before the actual one. Yeah, <laughs> mysteries of paint, definitely. I remember I enjoyed paint with uh, Citadel Range while uh, it was made by Le Franc Bourgeois. It was good paint. But now I'm not a huge fan of their actual nowadays paint range, you know, so their current paint range, I mean. Not a huge fan. It's not bad, but uh, not my thing. <laughs> Don't know. Now my favorite paints are uh, I Vallejo, so they they are coming from Vallejo. It's uh it's the the the, the model color, uh, you know the classic one. That's my favorite paint because uh, it's cheap, easy to use, great for a lot of stuff. You can pretty much do anything with that. They're good. A little dull because uh, you don't have any type of uh, you know any type of mono pigment stuff. It's but apart from that, it's great paint. Not <laughs> toward their general direction. Yeah, so like Monty Python's. <laughs> I have something, but it's it's in French. <laughs> I watched it uh, in English, but uh, remembering stuff in French. Or well, there, uh, you know, there, uh, there are false French, like uh, when they said uh, "fetcher la vache." <laughs> That's funny. Or when they said, I don't know, something like. Uh, Bursting my my pimples at the face of your grandma's or something like that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And today, John please uh, made an apology on Twitter. 
he was basically trolling everyone, saying that he was so sorry to uh, to have made fun of uh, of white people for so long. He was sorry. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Brave Sir Robin, yeah. Twitter, very strange world. I'm trying to uh, tweet more. It's a very strange place to be. Yeah. A plague, yes, a cesspool, uh, yeah, yeah, that's true, that's definitely true, but there's also some good things coming from Twitter, I mean, uh, no, just, if uh, if I wasn't on Twitter, I uh, I couldn't show my work to, to EVS, for example, so just for that, I'm kind of um, happy to be there, but yes, it's, I, I had some, uh, some very bad arguments with uh, some currents. <laughs> yeah. And yes, this format that can, read, can create the problem, yeah, promiscuity. <laughs> yes, I had some uh, arguments, some words with uh, some kind of a Karen. She basically me basically called me a uh, and I will uh, change the word, but uh predo file, you know. Because I was say, just saying that lollies are not a problem. Don't care. Lollies are drawing, they're not people. Uh, yeah, Karen. Karen was unhappy with me because I stated the obvious that she was stupid and that um, lollies are not a problem. <laughs> Actual CP is a problem, not drawings. And I also had a... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you read a woke article about WandaVision. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Holy moly. Oh. What an awful thing to do to yourself. <laughs> Reading walk journalist. Journalist. <laughs> like the quartering used to say. <laughs> and I'm kind of on board with that. No, never. Of course, never. Yeah. It's it's completely incredible. This is this is uh, some kind of puritanic. It's there is very much something to to, to some parallel some parallel to be drawn between uh, this type of. Uh, Puritanical views and you know the 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 old school, very conservative one. You know, uh, trying to uh, to police the internet back in the nineties in the early two thousands. <laughs> yeah, separation of Romani culture. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. But yeah. It's kind of easy to uh to be um to be a woke journalist. <laughs> Everything is racist, so you have to point that out. <laughs> Just like uh Mistress uh, Anita Sarkeesian stated. I think she said that during the, the Gamers Gate stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> stupid. It's yeah, incredibly uh, incredibly stupid. Wokeness, yeah. And that's very uh, which is which is funny. I, I don't have a lot of uh, I'm not following a lot of people on Twitter, but I have uh, diverse people diverse uh, um, sample of people and uh, even you know the the the, the genuine progressives they, they they're not claiming those guys. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's very strange. <laughs> One division, no, watch that. Should try because, um, it seems to be a I'm quoting Nerdrotic, uh, Gary from Nerdrotic. It come, it's a huge disappointment. <laughs> for him oh uh, yeah no uh, yeah really enjoy uh, as from heel versus babyface I enjoy his uh, review of Batwoman because it's <laughs> it's just completely f unhinged craziness but it's uh it's funny as hell. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. It seems that no one claims them. Even even their own kind, because uh, we we uh, we had some. Uh, I, I I saw some content from from French creators, you know, uh, talking about those things and saying that there are some people within some of those ultra woke stuff. They f end up arguing and uh, yelling at each other and splitting. So maybe we'll just have to wait. Oh, yeah. 
Judge Dredd. Yep. But they're trying to cancel pretty much everything. It's completely crazy. Completely crazy. I know there have been a very uh, bad concerted attempt to uh, deplatform uh, the quartering, EVS, uh, Nerdrotic, and a lot of those guys, uh, geeks and gamers, and stuff like that. This is completely, uh, completely crazy. And yes, because I think it's uh, they made that just for two things: maybe fun, and maybe for you know uh, something of a some kind of a commentary call out. So yeah, they're so, um, just like we say here, uh, first degree, you know, you're pottering something, therefore you agree with everything. It's stupid. That's stupid, yeah. Uh, not bad, not too bad. Okay. Just have to. Scribe that a little more here and it will be good. And I have to say, even if you're not completely separating things, uh, you know, guys like, uh, like Polanski, I know, I know that the guy is, uh, has made some very, very bad things, but uh, it's contributed to shape his uh, his views of thi on things, so yeah. The, the thing I try to avoid is uh, what uh, what uh, what we can call slave morality, you know. Even if the guy uh, has made some shitty things, yeah, okay. It's it can uh, it can give uh, some kind of a light onto his work, and uh, yeah, guy can have made some very bad things, but uh, nevertheless, the work can be still interesting. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. 
Ja. Ähm. Yep, mit der. This will be a kind of difficult to sustain this type of position right now because uh, a, I don't know how deep we can go uh, into this type of nonsense. It's crazy. I witnessed some very small pushback, but against the, the, the what they call the woke mob. You know, we had a um, very small YouTuber, uh, she was called Trillium. She made some videos about her life, stuff like that, uh, her job, her nature, and and a little about video games. And uh, she dared to criticize The Last of Us 2. And uh, yeah, they have been. She 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 uh, has been pretty much pushed out. She just you know she had some anxiety issues and stuff stuff in that order. So she. It was too much for her to uh, handle the harassment she had to endure. So she just left the platform. And uh, now she came back and the quartering gave her a shout out. So uh, now her channel is at 25,000 people. But uh, I saw uh, the content before she, uh, she left. And before the quartering uh, just give her a shout out she was very she seemed to be a very nice person and very sweet one but uh it was weird it was those crazy people harassed her it's completely completely crazy and abhorrent But yeah, this uh, this concerted attempt to deplatform people from uh, coming from from radios it was completely crazy. You know, there's uh, crazy shippers trying to uh, to force uh, even the actors, you know, Daisy Ridley and uh, and uh, Adam Driver to be together. They're crazy, they're crazy. It's crazy. Uh, uh, I I hope to never, never, never have to face a true uh, a true shitstorm like that. Maybe, maybe, not no, maybe.
Yeah, maybe. I didn't see the quartering attacking anyone, but uh, yeah, maybe. Or uh, or or others. The best super chat, super chat stuff I saw was the the, the return of uh, Doctor Disrespect. It was crazy, crazy. You know the the, the... after being uh, being tossed out. Uh, Twitch. He uh, he just rebuilt his channel, his YouTube channel. We were something like in the its uh, first live stream. We were something like more than five hundred thousand people. It was crazy, crazy, and super chats were just flying everywhere everywhere the guy just earned i don't know how much money it was completely crazy yeah I have to say, it will not never be that big, but uh, I'm kind of tempted to uh, try to be remonetized. But I don't know if a channel like mine can uh, can have not that big, of course. But um, yeah, I have an expression here in France. We say, uh, "Ça met du beurre dans les épinards." It's uh, bring butter in your spinach, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I could definitely benefit from that type of money. We have a French content creator, a guy. Uh, he is um, French and uh, Serbian, and uh, the man is uh, making you know just some videos, uh, two three videos a day about various topics, and uh, he covers a lot of drama. But yeah, didn't try to hide it, uh, and he just show how much money he can earn even in France. It's crazy. <laughs> definitely crazy and uh, yeah I mean uh, just like uh, any anyone I uh, could do a lot of things with that money yeah of course of course In France, it's very difficult because, uh, with um, I think within our comic book stuff, everything is pretty much very open, not woke. You have room for pretty much anyone. The only guy I can think of is uh, I, I really enjoy his uh, comics, but uh, yeah, I can understand why some people uh, can. Say bad thing and bad mouth him. Uh, it's uh, his name is Marceau, but uh, I find the thing to be uh, funny as hell, and I don't care if the guy has right wing views. And uh, yeah, apart from that, no, there is room for everyone here, so it's very difficult to uh, to milk the drama thing. <laughs> I mean. It's probably the case everywhere outside of the US or UK.
Oh, that that's was cool, yeah. That was cool, but uh, yeah, never saw him doing that now. Now that I sub to his channel, I mean. Oh, yeah. Sure, friend, yeah. I'm not sub to the guy. I should try to. Oh, yeah, well, uh, definitely try to uh, have a look. Definitely, definitely. Okay. that figure like that oh yeah I love I should try to uh, to to work more on my uh, on my inking I'm not there uh, not very good should definitely benefit from uh, from views of a of a professional inker, definitely. I enjoy the content of David Finch. When it comes to uh, to drawing, it's, it's very interesting, and uh, the guy is such a nice character. I think he's uh, he's nice, and uh, very 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 nice uh, inside. You know, some nice tricks. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I mean, he completely sticks to his, uh, you know, to the 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 the, the heart, the, the vision of art, and nothing more. Just art. It's great. I really enjoy that. Very open-minded to know that he discovered some some mangas. Enjoying enjoying uh, you know gun 
which is great. And I'm always, always, always fascinated by the ability, uh, the you know, the visualization the guy has. Um, uh, this uh, the Korean guy, um, uh, King Jungji. Oh yeah, you have. It. Oh yeah, okay, DVD series. Oh, that's great. Then. Great. But figure drawing, yeah. I really like the way he's, uh, you know, it's very, um, very progressive. It's, uh, and at the end, you have very, very beautiful, detailed things, but the way he's thinking each step is very simple, crystal clear. I think it's great. And yeah, I, I, I love the. Junji Kim stuff is so amazing. I mean, yes, he's good, but it's not just being good. His his style is great, and um, his imagination is it's it's completely incredible. I mean, it's he is so fast. I I envy this speed. I would definitely love to uh, uh Kim Junji No no I uh, almost saw him beginning by the the drawing of the head but maybe when he draw figures complete figures Maybe yeah, no, never, never, never focused on that. I'll definitely uh, look forward to this uh, this detail. Never noticed. Oh, Finch. Sorry, I thought you were talking about uh, Kim Jong Ji. Finch is uh, yeah. I drew I drew the head last. No, never, never noticed. Okay. I just watched, you know, um, a few videos, not not a whole, uh, you know whole series of stuff but uh, no and uh, I didn't notice didn't notice sorry uh, that's inter that interesting something I will definitely try my drawings to draw the head last hmm. oh yeah gnomon oh great 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 stuff yes 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 Oh, so much great stuff. I want to buy some Gnomon stuff, you know, because it's so great. And also some um, some uh, Stan Winston school stuff. It seems to be so great. A lot of great, 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 great things. Ah, uh, yeah. Speaking of that, I need to... I need to 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 speed up my pace. <laughs> it's not possible to be that freaking slow. I need to be faster. That's pretty much why I build this type of tool. <laughs>
and I have also a little project with a, a certain Smurf Marine and a beautiful, uh, beautiful illustration. And I want to translate that illustration into a figure. I know that it has been made, but not in a very good way. I want to make it to make it very good. So, because Games Workshop stuff is something that you know, if I share something about uh, my art or or historical figures or no one will care pretty much no one i share some shitty stuff from and i i don't i don't i'm not saying that uh figures from games workshop are not good they're good they're good figures uh they they know how to uh, how to, to to do it but i'm painting some you know some very fast stuff not that good uh, and everyone loves it it's it's incredible it's pretty much comparable to Star Wars with it in Van Skyver, you know. <laughs> if I want to be noticed, uh, I have to sculpt something from Games Workshop world, you know, or Games Workshop-ish like that one, or uh, or I have to paint something from from Games Workshop. The, the people just want Games Workshop, Games Workshop, Games Workshop. So now I'm. It's, I don't really like doing that, but now I put hashtag Warhammer on pretty much everything because uh, if I'm not doing it, no one will care about my work. No freaking one. And this is uh, very discouraging, I have to say. Very, very discouraging. I. I know that you have to work for yourself and don't care about the others and uh, stuff in that idea, but in that taste, but yeah, no, definitely. Uh, I, 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 I'm seeing no one apart from my wife, almost wife. Uh, I have pretty much no social life apart from here. Uh, and uh, yeah, I... I want my work to be seen because uh, because I'm working my ass off for that. So so yeah, I have to hashtag Warhammer stuff because if I'm not saying uh, oh guys, it's uh, it's Warhammerish. No one cares. No, I I've painted a, a bust of a Landsknecht. I could say it's a, it's a warrior from the Imperium in Warhammer Fantasy. That ah, could be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it's I think it's coming uh, partially from the fact that they have a lot of French guys. Uh, as uh, sculptors, so uh, yeah, the Rakamish style, uh, style is, uh, I think, is coming partially from that. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. No, no. But I know that I know one guy specifically uh, who is a huge fan of uh, of Rakam, and he is uh, currently in. Uh, in the designing team, so uh, he's a he's a digital sculptor. Nice guy, but since he went uh, in uh, in Nottingham, we uh, didn't heard of of him or uh, his personal work. That's something. I just don't like in the uh, overall philosophy, you know, in Games Workshop. When you go there, you 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 belong to them. They owe you. They uh, owns you. Sorry, they own you. And uh, this is something I don't like. Don't like at all. Whereas at Sideshow, they value their creatives. 
can put a name onto uh, the, the, the creations. Yeah, but I can understand because um, Games Workshop is uh, definitely something important and uh, it's a good, uh, it's a great, great company for when it comes to, uh, to, 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 to the business. And uh, yeah, they, they want fans to work for them. But uh, first, I don't think they they would consider my uh, my application if I ever tried another time to work for them, uh, because uh, if they if I manage to 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 go to the you know the the the, the interview, uh, I think they well. <laughs> not like what I have to say or my answers not very uh not no people tend to not see the brightness of my very sweet character <laughs> oh no that's strange but even if, even if I wanted to work there, I don't know if I would be okay to vanish, you know, to be uh, digested. The robots, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why not? It's funny because um, we uh, we watched, you know, uh, the uh, Game of Thrones stuff, and uh, I know my uh, my companion. She read the books. Me, no, but yeah, she she enjoyed books. But when it comes to uh, to that, there are some guys having. Uh, those helmets uh, with uh, the shape of, uh, you know, uh, dick head. <laughs> I call that. Uh, it's barbut, but I, I call that barbit because, uh, yeah, dicks basically is bit in French. So barbit. <laughs> oh, I'm so childish. <laughs> With my barbie stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, not like that. Yep. My eyes, my eyes are itching, and it's not good. And I have to say, I'm kind of tired of the coof. Because um, I know that some people want to have... Uh, wants to uh, to have a lesson yeah, to, to, to take some uh, some lessons with me uh, which is uh, great and uh, I would gladly have some students but uh, since we're in lockdown it's not very uh, not very easy even though uh, here it's basically uh, we have no no cops whatsoever to be seen. So lockdown or not, no one 
really cares. But yes, I'm kind of tired. I'm not saying that we shouldn't have lockdowns. I think we should have a true one before. But uh, now um, I'm longing to uh, just try to have uh, students because some people wants to go and uh, and I want them to because it's great. I mean, it's a great experience teaching teaching others. When I was a guitar teacher, I I enjoyed. I enjoyed that. We're on the same page about lockdowns. And the coof. Yeah. A little tired. And this, I mean, it's completely crazy because, um, fortunately for me, I I follow some French skeptics, so um, they were good providers of informations. Of, I mean, quite um, quite um, nice and uh, solid informations. But the states, they pretty much completely screw everything up and uh and the official journalists were not very good and uh yes everything basically paved uh the the paved the road for 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 a lot of conspiracy theorists and uh, it's it it was completely crazy completely crazy But yes, thanks, 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 I don't know, Providence, <laughs> for having uh, having some uh, skeptics trying to, uh, to, to give relatable informations. I have to find. I know that Anna Anna Rent said something quite interesting about the fact of you know ruining the the the, the cognition of everyone. <laughs> to remember. Try to find it in English because uh, you know, politics. Oh, there is a complete article, so <laughs> read that now. But um, mm -mm. yeah. I am, you know, I, I don't truly uh, think that we should completely sacrifice the economy because uh, specifically in a, in a country with some remaining of socialism like France, uh, and those remainings are quite important, okay, I'm not saying that it's bad, but we are kind of dependent of our capacity of uh, maintaining at least an illusion of growth because it's merely an illusion right now, I think. But uh, yeah, it's uh, what I, the main issue I have with the government, I mean ours right now, it's 
the fact that they're not saying the truth. So yes, I'm on board with the duplicity. Uh, I I think they should just explain things and uh, and and be okay to uh, to 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 explain how much they don't know where to go and how to manage the thing. And... Yeah. Encrypt every business, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The counterpart will be uh, will be awful. Uh, I uh, I have um, we have a nice uh, French content creator, a woman. Um, her name is uh, Tatiana Ventos. She is um, left leaning, but uh, you know the the just like you said, you 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 were uh, with uh, with a communist party. So she is. Uh, Something like this, you know, like I th what I think is your your uh, your side, you know, um, uh, very uh, old school, left leaning. Everything is a matter of class. Okay, no, no identitarianism. So she is very interesting, and uh, she talks about um, what they call zombie zombie companies. You know. Uh, Businesses, zombie businesses, small businesses, uh, maintaining some kind of a, of a subsistence, but uh, in one or two years they will be hit by a lot of uh, of taxes and stuff like that, and and uh, the, the 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 aftermath of uh, of the lockdowns, and uh, yeah, this will be uh, harsh. Specifically for uh, for 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 restaurants, it's something here. And uh, yeah, it's dreadful, dreadful. Yeah. Well, it's pretty much the same here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 definitely a, a big problem. The lack of accountability of the government. You know, you have yeah, self accountability. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm full on board with that. So yes, but uh, the government should be held accountable. We had a president here who uh, messed up with our constitution because basically. Uh, a few years back, uh, you could uh, just, okay, it's wishful thinking, but you could, uh, constitutionally speaking, sue the president for high treason. And uh, yeah, uh, a guy uh, who was from the right uh, just removed that possibility from our constitution, which is uh, high treason. <laughs> so... Uh, that's crazy. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Kind of the same here. Yeah. I there it's just I can't you know project myself in the future right now I can't even understand uh, truly I, I have you know some problem to process uh, the fact that I'm living in a, in an era in uh, in which it's we have some we have such restrictions upon what we are load to uh to 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 do or not it's just very strange don't know what will happen at the end if it ever ends truly because uh, now some people are saying that we should uh, get used to uh 
to those restrictions. Mm -mm -mm -mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some uh, dreadful images of um, dreadful pictures of uh, overcrowded uh, stuff here too. Yeah. That's better. Not perfect, not better. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, from kids uh, hanging out in the plaza. For us, it's uh, you don't get COVID uh, in schools. <laughs> but the prime minister said that with a paper with drawings, you know, this graph graphics. So. It must be true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understood. And this dude, definitely, yeah, uh, it's strange. Yeah, so now no one, uh, I think no one, no one trusts no one, specifically not the, the government. I don't. I don't know if they can even fathom the fact that, I mean, the, the sheer defiance and the pure hatred, a lot of people are feeling right now toward them. It's completely, completely crazy. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Yep, remember last year the same very hard lockdown. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Yes, no. I hope that we uh, 
I truly for for us, I hope they will they don't screw completely everything and uh, every effort. But uh, I have little hope. Yeah. What's very harsh is uh, the fact that the, a lot of small businesses were uh, very aware and they, they were enforcing, you know, masks and uh, they had uh, they had the the, 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 um, the solution, you know, antiseptic for uh, at the, at the 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 entrance. It was not perfect, but um, great. But no, it's better to. Uh, close everything and to 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 to, to have people uh, to have overcrowded uh, overcrowded areas uh, like uh, like my public transportation and it's it's better of course and uh for being sure to uh to 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 to, to have overcrowded stuff you 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 impose a curfew you enforce a curfew so uh Pretty much everyone <laughs> will be uh, will be uh, in a, in a crowded area. It's yeah, crazy. <laughs> yeah. And what's very concerning for me is the fact that. A lot of experts uh, seem to say that at the very, 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 very early stages, uh, you can uh, definitely benefit from closing your borders. And uh, the uh, European Union uh, just prevent us from doing that uh, for various reasons, because uh, you can close your borders uh, when you're in part, from what I recall, but uh, it's very limited in time. And uh, yes, our president uh, is uh, is very, 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 very pro-European Union, but you know that the dumb way. Uh, and uh, things would have been more manageable, according to some experts, if at the very, very early stage, you close your borders. Let's people go, but keep distance. Yeah, exactly. But there is, you know, this um, almost like a scent of the end of something. Maybe a paradigm shift of any kind. Don't know. But it's strange because um, we are in the the the, the 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 second half of the uh, the, the the presidency, uh, the Macron presidency here. So uh, he's very. Uh, you know, he is um, trying to pander to more right-leaning people. So he is uh, adopting some kind of a strange posture. It's just the man is pretty much an empty shell. So it's cringe at best, but yeah. Mm -mm. 
Yeah. And uh, yes, if you if you're keeping your distance, open areas are not a big deal, from what I heard. So yeah. But here, basically, <laughs> no one listens to the government right now. They said, yeah, lockdown. And uh, I, th I heard, uh, yeah, don't care. <laughs> But yeah, let's hope, um, let's hope the thing comes to an end in a not too long. Because there's also uh, some, uh... yeah, exactly. And uh, there's some some people uh, just uh, ringing this uh, this this alarm, you know, um, like being completely locked uh is it can be very detrimental for uh for some people's health mental health i mean it can be very bad yeah safe from covid but crazy definitely yeah When it comes to uh, to 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 us, we are we're of course putting a mask on and trying to uh, to to observe the rules, and that's it. But uh, yeah, we if uh, if. If a friend uh, just uh, asks to, uh, you know, spend the evening with us, or uh, we will say yes, and that's it. Because, uh, because we we didn't see a lot of people, so when you have some occasions, it's good for us. Yeah, exactly. And imagine uh, people in small apartments, you know, with uh, you know, those uh, big, uh, big families with not a lot of means. I mean, uh, the, the thing has been very, very comfortable for me. Uh, we have a house. We're just the two of us here. It's with our cats. That's it. So, pretty much heaven for us. But uh, yeah, I can't even imagine what it is to be in a, in a small apartment with a big family. Everybody on top of each other is locked in a, its dreadful situation. Oh yeah, you return to Athens. I mm -mm, can understand that, definitely.
And yeah, since I'm some kind of a homebody, the the, the lockdown is, is not that big. Lockdowns are not that big of a deal, but yeah, I like to see just you. Know, I have one friend. I like to see him and his wife, his girlfriend, once in a while. It's nice, but uh, the thing I'm truly uh, missing is the you know the those uh, figure painting conventions I used to like that but everything uh, has been uh, closed shut and uh, cancelled Oh, yeah. the younger the youngsters <laughs> can be hopeful yeah It's handy, this tool. I really, really, really like it. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Teens. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I hope that will uh, come to an end because it's. Uh, Yeah, I yeah I, I I used to to go out not that not a lot but uh, yeah seven sixteen seventeen want to hang out with your friends that's definitely definitely true. No, stay inside, yeah. This, uh, this, this, this has been terrible, I think, for them. Mm -mm. Not seeing, uh, not seeing their friends. Right now, where 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 I live, I I saw just today some a lot of you know young people. I have a uh, something like a, a university or a college very 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 close to uh to our home and uh yes we saw some young people so not 16 17 more 18 20 but uh yeah singing out and uh so yeah it's uh 
it's difficult, but uh, right now, even though we're we're in lockdown, I think it's not they, they, they don't have the means to enforce the thing, truly. Specifically not here. Mm -mm, yeah. hated school I hated school but yeah the socializing factor is very important yeah that's the most important yeah yeah true <clears throat> Oh, you have some. Oh, nice. Okay. Had some comments. I had some nice comments uh, on Instagram. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I know that when I was uh, in uh, in high school, I would have killed for <laughs> not having to go to to school. It was a freaking stress. Oh yeah. Okay, I was a very bad, a very bad student. But yeah, would love to um, to be uh, to be not to be stuck at home, but you know, not to have to uh, to go classes because. Yeah, it's not my, uh, it was not my thing, definitely not my shtick. Okay, that's nice. But yeah, calling nerds vegetables. <laughs> it's funny. Oh yeah. I've always felt like an outsider in school. No, no, never, never liked it. Was always stressed. You know, forgot a lot of things. We, they gave us some papers, some stuff that, and I didn't thought about it, and uh, I've been yelled on to because. Because because I forgot to make something, you know, or to 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 get the paper signed, and if I managed to to have it signed by my parents when I was very young, uh, I get yelled onto by my parents because it was basically something I gave us, I gave them, sorry, uh, one hour before going to school in the morning, you know. 
because I kept forgetting to stuff. I just this was not interesting, so uh, I kept forgetting. And right now I have the same problems. Uh, I have to pay my taxes, and I'm very very late because uh, it's tr I'm freaking stressed and. Uh, and it's freaking paperwork. I hate that. It's just, I think. I think definitely that paperwork will kill me. Not in in, in the near future because I, I I can't bear that. This is something insufferable. It's abhorrent to me. It's, paperwork is awful. Oh yeah, to an art school. Would love to uh, to go to art school, but I choose music, which was dumb because I have no talent in music. Can work a lot, but it's uh, I'm not a good musician and never will be. I'm a bad musician, but a trained one. <clears throat> Yeah, paperwork, definitely uh, not good to be uh, to be French when you don't like paperwork. I know that it's even worse in Greece, you said to me, but yeah, hate paperwork. No, it's that that's basically preventing me from uh, from trying to uh, to have my uh, License for uh, for for a motorcycle here. Would love to, but uh, paper, 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 paper. So uh, yeah, go f with that. Oh yeah. But I kept, you know, I have some reflexes when I when I pass by a school or I just feel bad. I just don't like that. This is some kind of, you know, ambiance I don't like. There is something uncanny and unpleasant.
Ja. Mm -mm -mm. Pettiness sometimes, ja. Yeah, the same here, but uh, I just met with other, you know, I remet, <laughs> met again some of my uh, high school teachers or uh, third grade, they were, and some of them were just nice and uh, even though they made my life miserable, uh, by then, all in all, they, they were not bad people, but yeah. And sometimes I feel uh, ungrateful because uh, it's great to have the, the opportunity to go to school, it's very important, but um, yeah. Not not good memories apart from my uh, friends and uh, stuff like that but yeah school in itself it's very not very much not a good memory at all But uh, right now I would be very very happy to uh, maybe leave those years another time but with my uh, with my no today's mindset mm. This is some kind of a fantasy, you know. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's good. Sometimes I'm thinking I should have stick to my idea of learning uh, going to art school, not trying to uh, attend the musicology class because uh, that's what I I've done in uh, college and yeah, it was so stupid. It was not interesting, but uh, stupid for me to think that music was something I uh, suitable for me. Mm. 
Crappy stuff here. No, that's good. Mm, that's cool. That's very cool. For me, it's strange because I never knew. Just since I'm doing that, I know that uh, I should definitely have uh, went to uh, to art school because this was the thing I wanted to do. But you know. Uh, some people just in art school said, "Yeah, but no, you you want to you want to learn how to draw. You want to, nah, you will learn how to uh, how to draw products, which is great, which I should have done because it's a great way to learn how to draw. But the guy was just it is was the thing that he was doing, but you know just." Just said, oh, you should, uh, you should just, yes, you want to do comic books, you want to draw uh, concept stuff, and uh, but uh, no, you will just draw um, irons, you know, for clothes, because <laughs> that's what he was doing, or, uh, or, 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 or a toothbrush. But it's great, actually, it's great, and uh, I definitely would have benefited from that, definitely, because drawing products, it's a great, great way of learning learning a lot of stuff about rendering about but pretty much everything but yeah i just thought back then oh no i want to draw comic books and just the comic books and i want to draw this and then just that just which is which was stupid the stupid so uh, after that i just thought about making music and i discovered electric guitar and i pretty much learned a lot of stuff and uh, was not too bad at playing, but uh, yeah. Thought, oh yeah, I will go to uh, to 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 in, uh, in musicology, and uh, will have a degree, and after that, I will go in another school and uh, try to uh, yeah make my uh, make a living out of it. And guess what? Never worked. <laughs> Never ever ever. Hmm. Yeah. Graphic design, it's great. Not exactly. It was the guy uh, sitting at the back of the car, uh, learning his chords and trying to play jazz. <laughs> so it was the nerd type, you know, the guy, uh, very nerdy, uh, that no girls want to hang out with because uh, because too nerdy about chords and harmony and yeah, stuff like that. So uh, even for getting led, it was of it was basically completely useless. Yeah. The most popular thing I I, I like to play and listen when I was uh, back then when I was younger it was. Uh, metal and after that jazz and when i went jazz i went full jazz fusion you know yeah no <laughs> i have no interest in you know pop songs and stuff like that and there, there are some great songs but uh back then this was not interesting for me it was all you know jazz jazz chord and uh, harmony. 
if the chord had less than five notes, I was not interested in it, basically. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I would love to to be able to is to uh, have a better grasp, you know on the keyboard thing being a better keyboard player because uh, when it comes to composition you can speed things up because I I'm able to compose even though it's not that great uh, and I'm a I'm terrible at arrangements but uh, with hard work I can do something but with keyboard I'm just not good enough so I'm kind of slow too slow now oh, yeah scorpion balance yeah ah uh, no it's too late I have my uh, my girlfriend and uh, it's been 10 years So now, never mind. <laughs> I'll have to uh, live without it. <laughs> Oh, she would think it's cringe if I play Balan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she knows me far too well. <laughs> she knows me too well. So, yeah. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not that type of guy, you know, just, I love jazz and uh, that's it. <laughs> and she just don't like jazz, apart from the swing type, she enjoys swing. But you know, the old, uh, bebop or worse hard bop style she <laughs> she hate that and i'm terrible at playing it so it's perfect and i also love cheesy music and she didn't like that so yeah Now she discovered um, a Russian band uh, called Little Big. She really enjoyed their their music. They are kind of crazy, you know, like uh, the Antwort, but Russian. I have to say, it's kind of funny. They're enjoyable. And uh, when it comes to pop stuff, I like Yari Pamu Pamu, Japanese, Japanese singer. It's funny as hell. 
it's just pure fun because here in France, in our, we, we don't truly have the pure fun factor. Most of the time, it's completely stupid people farting way above their butts with uh, very stupid cheesy songs, not interesting with uh, with pure cringe-worthy lyrics and uh, yeah. Basically, it's the laughing stock of people with a brain. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never, never heard of uh, that band. The name just. I don't know it's ringing, but uh, I don't think I uh, I know this band. Yeah, it's good. Mm -mm. Now I try to um, understand how uh, Vapor wave and uh, retro wave, the old retro stuff is uh, is made because I really enjoyed uh, the vibe of the thing. And uh, yeah, when it comes to chords, it's not that complicated, but uh, the sound isn't was something I had trouble to uh, to 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 understand. Here we have uh, we have a French guy making uh, some nice uh, retro wavy stuff, but a little you know um, hardcore thing. It's uh, Carpenter Brute with uh, his uh, his uh, hit piece uh, Turbo Killer, which was great. Oh yeah, making animation, it's cool, it's great, good project. Animation, you can learn a lot about drawing. I know that uh, the guy, um, Ethan Becker, uh, is, uh, is coming from, uh, from this, this, uh, this field, animation. Great content creator, by the way. Strange character, but uh, great content. Love that. Full of nice uh, tricks. Very simple, but very nice. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about drawing, maybe it's not uh, animation, 
uh, drawing animation. Oh yeah, it's great. It can be cool to have that, uh, but with um, the copyright stuff, it can be a. Uh, it can be bothered maybe. They're going full crazy with that. Here we had a a, a guy. Uh, he is uh, he he is in the skeptic sphere, you know, making uh, content with another with another man, their friend. And uh, yes, one of the the two guys is a good musician, very good one. And uh, for one of their videos, he played uh, he played a piece from uh, Bach. And they have been. They, they receive the copyright strike because his interpretation uh, was very close to the one uh, owned by Deutsch Gramophone. Okay. That's a good idea. It's a great idea doing that thing. <laughs> By the Germans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you, I don't know if you know the guy uh, Adam Neely, is a very, 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 very good content creator when it comes to music stuff here, uh, and uh, he just explained one or two cases, uh, legal cases, and it's crazy. Uh, the, the the right holders, they think they have all the right. I mean, they're trying to uh, basically own chords or own a th four not melody, just basically trying to own a scale. And the, the worst part is that it's happening. Just have to uh, check a word uh, because I don't know it in English. I will, yeah. Here, okay, case low. It's very simple. So, yes, what I wanted to say that it's it's enabling very toxic case lows. Very, very, very toxic. Yeah. But the worst part is when something is going to court, uh, at least in the United States, they they have the audacity to uh, hire so-called experts at are experts but are completely uh, uh, sell swords and uh, for the right amount of money the guy will testify pretty much anything um, I mean he will overwhelm uh, willingly the, 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 the jury with uh, with a lot of musical mumbo-jumbo musical jargon so the guys will say, oh yeah, okay, so he's an expert. So uh, yes, uh, those two melodies are very close. And uh, yeah, so you, you think that that one uh, 
is uh, is a copy of that one. Okay, so maybe maybe right, and they state uh, they state the case, and uh, and you have a very stupid case law. Very very stupid and very. It's just. I think it's inical. It's awful. It's, it's not. It's it's completely crazy. You can't you can't own a word. You can't. You can't own something like that. So if you, you can't own the idea of a table. <laughs> so why do they think they can they can own uh, something like uh, like 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 chords or scales? It's 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 crazy. It's crazy. But the worst part, and I don't want an, an epistocracy, you know, <laughs> but uh, just I just want to the craziness to, to, to stop sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, a little bird. <laughs> And I will not do like some guys just coming close to the mic and burping, burping right into it. And what's definitely driving crazy too, it's the way that YouTube is not standing, not 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 at all not not a little uh for for small content creators you know pretty much everyone can abuse the system at the expense of the livelihood of uh some creators here and this is completely crazy now it's it's just insufferable and uh yeah miss uh, voice kiki she was uh very happy to say that they will enforce censorship on the platform, which is completely disgusting for me. Don't care if the, the, the content is uh, is even conspiracy, don't care. Just don't push it in the algorithm. But just let the thing be. Yo. Oh. Uh. Okay. Okay. Just a notification on Twitter. And that's it. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. But uh, it's for our own good. I know I'm not very keen to use this type of word, but uh, sometimes I talk with people and uh, I'm truly baffled by the, you know, this rhetoric I heard coming from, from boomers, actually. I mean, actual boomers. Um, being so okay with the censorship because uh, because censorship is uh, is good because basically of Hitler. You no, know, they're using some very stupid assumptions about you know using the 
guilty of association stuff, guilty by association. It's just so, yeah, okay, just censorship is good, actually, because everyone is bad, so censorship is good. And it's stupid, it's not making any sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think they think that indeed. But I heard that yes, you have a s sorry, you have something like um each minute you have something like 72 hours of videos uploaded on YouTube. So, yeah. It's difficult to uh, to manage everything, but unless there's actual, uh, I'm, I'm not talking about depiction because for me you can depict everything you want, but when it comes to uh, actual violence, actual brutality, and actual murder, of course, don't want to see that. But, um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of uh, everything Jordan Peterson said, but he said that basically if, if, the, uh, if the, 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 the medicine is worse than the, the illness, just don't cure the illness. <laughs> and I think censorship will worsen everything. Just, no. I'm uh, almost for a little anomia. I'm so against censorship. Because censorship didn't prevent me from have I mean I, I saw like any 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 dude here, but I saw absolute horrific state by the way. Uh so I, I, I saw do stuff <laughs> on YouTube. It's crazy. Not everything was on YouTube, but uh, I saw a boring thing on YouTube. So why enforcing censorship? It's not working. Yeah, that's a problem, yeah. And uh, I said just some stuff very cringe about his faith. But when it comes to, to, to some stuff, you know, I like to, to listen to the guy. And since he is uh, targeted by the, the blue weirdos, I think it's not that bad. <laughs> because I'm, I'm a psychopath, according to them, I think. <laughs> nah, the guy is kind of interesting. And it's very interesting for me because I'm a, I love to, you know, listen to things in English and yeah. It's a good way to practice for me to listen to this type of stuff. And I like it. I find it interesting. Jordan Peterson, yeah. <sighs> yeah. And you know, on Twitter they have these, sorry for the lack of a better word, but the audacity to uh, ask people what they can do for them. I hate this corporate management language, this is something I hate. Um, I, I, I can punch someone for that. I, I just can't stand this type of uh, very bland and empty and shallow and stupid way of talking to people. I hate that. 
But they, they, they had the audacity of running some surveys about that, about what they can do to improve our experience as a user, as a content creator, how they can help to provide better content to their own standards, you know, so stupid things with no meaning at all. And uh, yeah, they were asking uh, our ideas. So yeah, I just said that they should try to be what they used to be, a true Agora. <laughs> so stop enforcing censorship. Thank you. <laughs> That's basically the only thing I want. Stop enforcing censorship and uh, put the right orders at their own places by basically trying to protect small content creators and uh, yeah, be the true Agora they used to be. Because we need that more than ever. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way you put it. New generation of entitled millionaires brats. Yeah, that product's garbage. Great. True. And uh, yeah, sad. Very sad. But, you know, having this impression that tried to get rid of the you from YouTube, this is, this is awful for me. I, because I like, I like doing what I'm doing currently. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to have to, uh, to, 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 to mind every freaking word I can say because uh, I can uh, get the algorithm angry. No, of course not. So yes, maybe the future is on Pornhub. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or um, or other platforms, which you don't see mines, which are smaller, but maybe um, freer to. Yeah. Yep, that's uh that's pitiful because it used to be a nice uh, nice idea you know you're not it's it's the the basic storytelling of, uh, of capitalism but uh, it's the, the 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 way I think capitalism can be interesting at some extent it's you if you're working your ass off and if you have something to offer maybe maybe can earn money, which I'm full on board with that. I love that state of mind. Not I think that it's an, the, 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 the ceiling above everything because yes, there have been some big problems with uh, people having too much uh, power. I mean, too much money. Hence the fact that I think they have too much power. But, um, for the regular dudes like us, it's great. It used to be great. You have an idea? Try to uh, propose, do stuff, and maybe you will earn money. And uh, yes, I was full on board with that. It's a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. 
niche markets. But it's very strange. Uh, it's just as if YouTube was run by imbeciles. From my perspective, maybe they have to, uh, you know, uh, deal with a lot of very complicated stuff. And but due to their stupid communication and the way they're trying to uh, to to use this stupid positive managerial language, just I don't want to give them any credit. Or making any excuse. Yeah. And there's one thing I definitely dislike some, you know, this idea that the moral compass should be set by private companies. You know, the thing you can say, thing you can do. This is something I'm very, very much against. Yeah. For example, Chimera should sponsor me. It should send me figures and they should send send me painter. They need me. I have uh, three, almost 4K uh, subscribers. So they need me. <laughs> Joking, of course. But yeah, please, Chimera, send me colors. I'm good. I can do a lot of things and I will love your product. It's not too much to ask, just some figures and yeah, just a complete set of your colors. And I will do a great review. I will uh, use my beautiful camcorder and I will uh, edit the thing for every color to be shining, beautiful with lens flare everywhere. <laughs> I'm such a whore. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Could be great. Chimera. You don't know you you don't know you like me. <laughs> don't know yet. But eventually you will. <laughs> yeah. But I'm kind of, uh, you know, bummed by that because uh, my my channel is not very big, of course. And uh, but I have a small audience, and uh, I'm very happy to have a, uh, to have a nice, uh, nice little audience. It's very nice and very cool because I can talk with people like you, and it's great. But uh, yeah, they sent some uh, some 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 paints to 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 other French uh, painters. And uh, not me, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But I'm trying. I I will try to uh, grow my channel because you know I I pretty much dropped the thing for uh, for a few years, just making some live stream in here, here and there. But I still have almost 4k people so that's cool 
and that's very 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 nice the since i'm trying to have my own uh, my own brand i should be more consistent at the youtube thingy <laughs> send me a paint some french yeah not entitled at all <laughs> send me paint some french should try <laughs> Ah. No. Just have to be uh, more consistent in the YouTube thingy. Maybe I uh, reach, you know, other content creators trying to uh, have a little chat with a Squidmore or, you know, guys like that. They have bigger channels, can be great. Trying to, I uh, don't know, uh, propose a feature of some kind. Um, uh, there's plenty of stuff to do. If I manage to 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 have at least one, one like, one comment from uh, from EVS, maybe uh, you know, guy like, yeah, Squidmore. Maybe it will be okay and will be okay to do something. Not no. Should try. I know that on one of my live stream I had a Cujo painting. Just dropping a a nice comment. The man seems to be very nice. It is good. So that's yeah. I should try to um to do that. Yeah, seems to be a very, very nice guy. And I like the the whole vibe of the thing of this of this channel. I'm not I, I'm not uh, I'm not subbed. I should. But I watched some videos here and there. Kind of funny. Nice guy. Yeah, definitely, definitely. This is something I, I, I want to do. And uh, I had a couple of uh, French painters too, um, because uh, because first they're friends. So uh, it's just something I want to do, but uh, also because they have their own uh, their own audience, and uh, and yes, can be great for me. So yeah. Because I made the choice to uh, to do things in English, uh, maybe uh, I I was a little uh, cocky, I have to say. But um, it was, yeah, not very smart of me to do that thing. But it's it's a radical choice, and uh, now I. It's not that I'm stuck with it, but I, I'm trying to trying to stick with it because uh, yeah I made that choice I made that choice for a reason so yeah but basically uh, I have don't have a lot of um, I have some French people but not a lot of French people following me so yeah <laughs> because French <laughs> exactly no but um, Sending a copy of uh, one of my my figures to yeah people like Swedmar can be great. I should uh, I should watch more of the YouTube uh, mini painting YouTube. <laughs> Maybe a couple of uh, of more gaming channels if they ever want to try to paint some busts. Could be nice. But uh, well, yeah. Sorry, the way just you no, know, just pewed out of my mouth. 
but yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry, but yeah, um, should definitely try to 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 wait uh, until the end of the coup and also the end of Brexit because it's basically messing things up. But uh, yeah, when th things eventually reach a new balance, definitely should consider to do, s to do such thing. Maybe this will work, maybe not, not know. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, this um, over positive vibe. Yeah. Can understand that. It's, uh, this is something, now it's something that seems to be inherently YouTube esque. <laughs> that, you know, you, 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 you need to, uh, first. At least for some people, it's you no know, specific demographic. You need to, yes, to be a little over positive because you want to send good vibes and because of reasons. I don't know. Yeah, but just like uh, I don't know if you have ever watched One Piece, watch or read, uh, but just like Yusup used to say. I am naturally negative. <laughs> and when someone is asking me uh, if I see the glass half empty or half full, I say, yeah, I see the glass broken on the floor. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own stupidity, but it's kind of funny. Oh yeah, infinitely, yeah. It's maybe not as hard, but um, yeah, the aftermath is definitely coming for some other countries. The comeuppance. But for now, I need to at least produce one figure, which is um, definitely difficult for me. And uh, yeah, I need to find a good uh, and reliable way of, um, I mean, a reliable supplier for uh, for resin. For now, I'm sticking with what I can find uh, in. Uh, art supply store but uh, this is not that great I would definitely love to find uh, a resin with uh, a longer life pot since we're producing with only vacuum I need to have a quite just just a little longer life pot not hours but here it's a matter of you no know, you have eight minutes not one minute more um, just need something that allows me to, yeah, to have maybe 20, 25 minutes would be great. 20, 20, perfect. You know, 20 minute life parts. Oh yes, you too, you have the problem, the life pot problem. 
Oh, yeah, okay. It's fast. Three minutes. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that's way too fast for me. I can imagine that it's uh, difficult for you. Three minutes. Yep. It's fast. <laughs> Couldn't even use that type of resin. Three minutes. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah. What I would love to have uh, is uh, I, I I would love to have a um, a pressure pot, you know, for making our figures, but with uh, with pressure and not vacuum. I mean, using vacuum for for the mold itself. Sorry, but for the casting, using a pressure pot. With the resin we are currently, which is currently available, uh, this would be great for us. Having uh... yeah yeah oh yes us too it's, um, it's the same vacuum vacuum but vacuum pressure mm. that's sweet <laughs> so beautiful beautiful castings with pressure yeah. Need to find a good pressure one, good pressure pot. I know that some um, some uh, some guys in US uh, use some paint pot uh, uh, from uh, from Home Depot or something like that. You know, very cheap one. They didn't have any troubles. You can there there is uh, there is you know some kind of a tinkering you can do for converting it to a to a pressure chamber. That's uh, yeah. It's kind of scary, but uh, they didn't have any, any problems. So yeah, buying, uh, trying to buy a good quality paint pot and uh, yeah, maybe trying to, to convert it to a chamber, chamber, presser chamber. I definitely want to give it a, please give it a try. Because yes, pressure is dangerous, but uh, I mean, the casting quality is just over the top. <laughs> Expensive. Okay. Hey -o. Thank you. Work. You. Dumb. Thing. Uh. uh that. That one. Uh. 
perfect. Perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Definitely can understand. And yeah, pressure is dangerous. So, not saying that you should do your tinkering, but. For me, definitely want to give it a try. Because um, the freaking quality of the stuff, of the casting is just, yeah, over the top. It's perfect. Love that. And uh, I love my uh, casting to be perfect. As a painter, I hate when a figure is not well casted. I had some problems with uh, slight deformations, you know, uh, flattening or, you know, um, over rounding, you know, head too much cylindrical, which are upon verification is definitely due to the fact that it has been uh, casted uh, with a vacuum. So uh, the, the, the thing pretty much shrink a little. And uh, yeah, don't like that. Robert Tolones. Don't know, guy, the, this guy. Uh, check that, YouTube. Robert, Robert Tolon. And why I'm thinking of Toblerone right now. Robert Tolon. Oh, great. Yeah, it's about casting. I saw this picture, uh, I mean the miniature from uh, Silicon Robocut, molds faster, cheaper and so much better. I saw this uh, on a Facebook group. I saw the miniature. The Air Silicon Rubber. Oh, that's good. Definitely have a look. Yeah, thanks for the discovery. Oh, stuff about roto casting. That's great. That's very cool. Yeah, thank you. I'll try to um, watch watch his content. Seems to be very very interesting. Thanks. And the yeah, pressure pot, yeah. Yep. Hmm. No, definitely, yeah. Chinese stuff, yeah, I have to uh, take care. Not everything is bad, but sometimes. The uh, metallical alloy can be uh, not reliable, and when dealing with pressure, it can be very dangerous. Yep. Okay. I'm kind of hungry. Have to uh, call my companion. Hey, make some food. <laughs> I'm starving. And 
that's why I will be cancelled in 10 years. Sometimes I'm just thinking should be cancelled. Yeah, could be great for uh, advertising my channel. It's a good way to be known to get cancelled. <laughs> Having uh, having said that, uh, I had a guy very strange profile, just you know, straight up, straight up hater. Uh, the guy just right on Twitter just said, "Oh, uh, about uh, one one figure I've painted." <laughs> the guy the guy said, uh, "Just oh, uh, it's uh, it's ugly, just like everything you do." And uh, just under another tweet I made about my uh, Gina Carano uh, portrait, it was very early stage and it was not good looking, of course, because it was in progress. And the guy just said ugly. And the strange thing is that I was tagged because it was just under, and you know, as a response under my tweets. And I didn't saw any uh, any notification. And uh, so yeah, I saw that. So it was not very, it was not a pleasant experience, I have to say, to put it mildly. So I went uh, down the rabbit hole, you know, <laughs> just tried to 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 understand why uh, uh, why this guy just pretty much spat at my face. And uh, it was a strange profile with no, uh, with uh, with with no, you know, no, no followers, nothing, just empty profile, uh, responding shit about things. It was not a French one, not an English one, not this was just a Spanish one. And you know, something that smelled astroturfing. <laughs> so yeah, completely crazy. Just, you know, something just like that. Just, um, here, just kick your balls and, uh, and vanish. Strange, very strange. Yeah, <laughs> concealed French artist. Yeah. Like uh, if yes, the most cancelled artist on Twitter or something like that. It's changing. It's changing his name sometimes on the platform. Yeah, nice ring. Yeah. Asterix issue with theaters. Mm, can't remember. There have been an issue. 
I mean with the, the release of Asterix stuff. Don't remember. Experimental theater, uh, yes, the one in uh, in uh, in 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 Switzerland, not Switzerland, but you know, uh, with the elevates. or uh, or maybe with the female uh, bard. Can't remember. Sorry. That's a shame. I'm a failure of a French guy. Not knowing Asterix. Even though I love Asterix. My father will come back from beyond the grave to uh, haunt my French bottom. <laughs> oh, screw that. My French ass. Just didn't care. It's been... Uh, I can be shadow banned, I don't care. It's been weird too, and it's uh, it's been something like six hours. Oh, six hours of streaming. That's why I am hungry. I'm hungry, but yeah. It's cool, so I'm happy, it's good. I'm in good company. So yes, YouTube should have been me, I don't care. I'm saying that, but I'm not even sure that it's that true, don't know, just following the trend of people policing their language, but yeah, don't know. I don't know, and that's... And that's annoying. I should check. Just following the trend, but uh, I shouldn't care. I'm not monetized. used to be before when the Google AdSense program was really open and really really welcoming but they kicked me out because my channel was not uh, not enough um, enough views I had the right amount of uh, subscribers, but not the amount of views. So they just said, "Oh yeah, you can, uh, you can go wreck yourself." They didn't say that way. They used this disgusting managerial language I despise and hate. And just said, "Oh yeah, you understand the." the the guys making the those uh, those announcers say they 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 need to be secure and to uh, and blah 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 and don't remember what they said but yeah basically uh, no you're you're not uh, you're you're not suitable for us 
So uh, yes, you can you, you can have fun with a serrated stick and shove it up your ass. You'll see it's funny. Oh, sorry. But I hate this corporate way of putting things up like that. And I know that I'm not the only one <laughs> to despise this uh, this type of language. Yeah, banished. Yeah. Are they, you know, I've been affected a little too much, but uh, I was very... Um, you know, was ready to work for free for maybe, you know, one, two years and truly working for free for... Uh, Nada, zero peanuts, because uh, for putting, I mean, while I was uh, editing videos, uh, I um, uh, I put something like eight, yes, eight hours of shooting, uh, and after that it was something like eight hours of editing. And after that, it was, um, yeah, some hours, up to eight or 10 hours for the music, because I tried to compose my own music, I mean, on the smaller videos. And uh, yeah, voiceover for the, the, the last couple of ones. Uh, so uh, since it was my first experience as recording my voice in English, so it took me hours and hours of re-editing the stuff and re reworking my voice and yes, writing everything because uh, I wanted to be very uh, clear, not making uh, mistakes. And so, yeah, it was big, big work and uh, being tossed out with this, just like you said, HR dialect, uh, I truly didn't enjoy the experience not at all it was not a pleasant experience because yeah i i, I was not entitled to uh, you know to have money or I, I i was i knew that i was playing but i just thought that yeah i will try to improve and to uh i had this little you know this glimpse of hope little thing i i i, I saw the, the the numbers raising a little you know my first thousand subscribers and i saw oh yeah i may earn something like five dollars or yeah okay it's just it's nothing but it's because i i needed to reach 75 dollars in order to uh retrieve money and i never reached it but yeah it was it was the goal, you know. I, I had uh, I had something to um, to aim to. No, but uh, yeah, no. They just uh, just be being tossed out with their own language, own dialect. Yeah, and uh, yeah, was not very happy about it, I have to say. Because, uh, yeah, any video it can take hours and hours and hours of work to be put together.
and you know this this feeling of being completely uh, considered useless this is something very not good uh, I mean and, uh, I know that you know YouTube it's not that big of a deal I shouldn't count on YouTube but here we are and uh, yeah <clears throat> Needs to have his dog play drums. By that you need uh, you 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 say niche as a niche for market or a French word for uh, for for dog house. I think it's niche market. Yeah. Maybe, uh, I hope, because it's, sure, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. Yes, his market, okay. I hope you will, uh, succeed. Definitely, you know, there's something, uh, this, the thing has a, a nice flavor of, uh, randomness. Because a dog playing Metallica, it's something very strange, but uh, definitely, definitely, it's great. I like this uh, this aspect of the, you know, the, the, the platform post YouTube poop, you know, so this, there is this something inherently cultural and aesthetic in the, uh, in some of the randomness of YouTube. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, Metallica took the money, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, okay, Doug is playing. Oh, yes, a pug. Oh, seems to be cute. Like pugs. Like pugs. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I can imagine. Putting that thing together. Yeah. But the copyright claim is just completely stupid. I hate this thing. It's completely crazy. Yeah. It's cute. I like bugs. Very good sink. <laughs> yeah, like that. Fun, very fun.
where is my channel my channel please i need my channel because i need to monitor things here yep there and you see Yeah, last week tongue thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's pretty, uh, pretty neat. I mean, uh, I have a good helmet, and uh, it sounded very well. Okay, and of course, because they need the money, Metallica just claimed the thing. Of course. Disgusting guys. I don't know if it's Metallica and them themselves or or producers producers, sorry. I don't know, but it's disgusting. Yeah, should tell him. Should tell him that uh, his bug is very, 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 very nice and very cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cover bands. It's great. Uh, it's great. Yeah, and Metallica is. They are. For the others, I don't know, but uh, I heard that I'm not a Metallica fan, but I heard some guys who just loved the band saying that it was not what it used to be. And I'm saying that it was maybe something like seven, eight or ten years ago. Do you know it's strange because I, I had a band I had a band uh, we are not a cover band we played cover sometimes but most of the time we played what have been composed by uh, by those guys uh, and I uh, I ended up truly disliking metal I played you know I played thrash metal so uh, thrash metal it's, uh, we were uh, we were tuned in the drop C, so a very very low with a very high gain stuff. I had a Randy Rhodes type guitar, you know, triangular shape, pointy and triangular, and uh, mine was uh, I think it's yes Randy Rhodes specific thing is that it's pointy and it's uh, asymmetrical. Uh, and I played you know with big uh, big big strings, uh, big gauges and just yeah very uh brutal stuff and uh but uh i don't know maybe i experienced something like a burnout i don't know but i i ended up truly truly ha hating that music yeah jackson v yeah it was just my, my my guitar was inspired by that but it was not jackson v it was an uh E, uh, ESP, true ESP, kind of expensive. Active mics, tuned in drop C, kind of brutal. If you want to have a good laugh, you can find some pictures uh, on my Facebook. <laughs> but yeah. Don't know why. If I been, yeah, if I ended up. Maybe it was because uh, back then, you know, I had to face the loss of my uh, of my father. 
in uh, dire circumstances, so maybe it played a part, I don't know. But the um, thing I can tell is that I definitely never... I never overcame this uh, fatigue from metal. Oh yeah, Iban is... Yeah, can be great. Can be crap too. But when they're good, they're very good. At least from what I recall. I had a couple of ones. But yeah, since uh, I left the band uh, in uh, 2013, I think I never touch a guitar. Just can't. Hate. Yeah, begin to hate this instrument. Electric guitar. I don't know if I can even play a uh, guitar right now. Sure, I have some remainings, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, seven string. I had one, it's nice. Yeah. I sold, uh, I sold mine. It was not first generation. just kept uh, and I don't know why but I kept um, my first uh, which was a court uh, Korean very very cheap but good Korean guitar I kept my Telecaster I have an official Telecaster from Fender which is nice and my uh, Groove Tool by Conklin which is uh, basically uh, uh, uh and not an not a knockoff in the you know the counterfeit sense of the the word but uh it's an official knockoff of the uh guitar maker conklin so it's just licensed but licensed but not made by conklin and it's a seven string oh <laughs> Aria Pro 2 Explorer. Don't even know the name of the thing. And it was good. Never heard of it. Decent enough, okay. Or if it stays in tune, it's good. This is the best quality of any instrument. Stay in tune. Okay. Explorers, yes. Yep. I think if I had to uh, if I ever play again, maybe I will buy some kind of um hollow body, you know, for playing jazz. Even though I'm terrible playing jazz. Terrible. I worked, but uh, it never worked. <laughs> nah, I think 
music is uh, too much of an, of an investment, you know, I'm kind of slow to understand things uh, about music, don't know why. Not completely hopeless, but uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a pricey hobby, <laughs> music, like a lot of others, I can say. But it's pricey. <laughs> okay. It's nice. Here, just remove a little more of that. Fold it behind. Oh, yeah, Thoman. Mm -mm. Now maybe I'll try uh, to uh, to find uh, some kind of an not a hand pan because it's far too expensive to have something decent. But uh, yes, um, still tongue still drum or stuff like that. You know, yeah, there is a nice French stuff uh, called beat root. You can tune it. It's kind of interesting to use magnets. And uh, yes, could be nice for making, uh, in a fast way, making some nice music for just, you know, some nice ambient music. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, can have a nice starter, yes. Start back. 500 euros, yeah. No, no, my first uh, first guitar, my court was very, very, very nice. I can't remember the price, but uh, yes, it was a very nice instrument. Very good, very solid. instrument it was uh, yep very very good for that low budget nice quality good thing overall nice instrument <clears throat> Hmm. 
Ja. Kort. I know I had a friend. His first was a Yamaha. Very nice too. Solid, good. But uh, yeah, continue. He still has a, a band. Me, no, no longer. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's better. It's better, it's better, it's better. Yeah. Okay, nice. Small patch after small patch, I will manage to make something out of that blob of clay. Burn. Oh yeah, wash burn, yes, definitely. But when it comes to some more pricey instruments, I always add a little something for PRS. I always thought they were beautiful instruments, beautiful looking. I had a, a teacher in music school who uh, owned one, more than one, because it was endorsed by the the brand. But uh, yeah, and uh, he was very, very good, of course, very good musician, SNHD, and a uh, beautiful instrument. And he was very good at playing it, so man was very funny. A lot of uh, bro jokes about the adult entertainment industry, <laughs> testing our knowledge. <laughs> he was very funny, a great guy. Yeah, blade, blade guitars. Yeah, never, never tried. Vigier, yeah, they were very good instruments. Vigier, we had one of their. Uh, showcasers, you know, um, teaching where I was. It was a music school in Nancy called AMAI. Yeah, very expensive. Yeah, you can stand, you, go, you know, you can stand up on top of the fretboard, and the thing will not. Uh, will not bend, will stay stiff. Perfectly right. It's kind of incredible. Because they put uh, some kind of a carbon thing in the, uh, the handle, you know. 
they are great instruments very um uh, rock solid <laughs> rock solid haha <laughs> funny um but yeah all in one great instruments very good instruments but very expensive oh yeah parker guitar And since I love jazz, you know, fusion, I can like Stenberger, you know, the headless guitars. I know that a lot of guitarists hate that design, but I always found something nice in that type of design. Strange, but great. Like that. Steinberger, I think it's, yeah, it was the name. I had one other teacher who, uh, who played one. He used to, to you, you know, to play with a specific technique. He played eight finger typing. Using very, 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 very light gauges. Uh, you know, like gauge strings, like uh, like gauge, like eight. You know, very very light, very nice. And yeah, kind of like this type of design. And there are some very strange exotic synth guitar back in the 80s that were very interesting. Stuff could be played by guys like Pat Metheny or you know, maybe Alan Oldsworth also. Love that. Oh yeah, Ben is 540, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes, with this flat, flat neck. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. But yeah, Ibanez can be great guitars, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with nice designs, you're gonna have a... Uh, I can check Kappa Reason, Japanese guitar. There. Um... I know that uh, Buckethead use uh, he he always used caparison. I think.
He used to be uh, he used to be uh, a uh, showcaser for them. You know, session musician just showing things. Demonstrator, yeah, I can say that in English. Yeah. And uh, yeah, beautiful instruments. It's very important to have a nice balance thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Testament, yeah. Kind of nice band, yeah. Hmm, it's cool. It's nice, I think. It's not too bad. I think it's not too bad. Always have a little something. Yeah. But it's heading in the right direction now. Eh, sorry. This little. <laughs> lucky, very lucky. <laughs> what? That. No. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes can be lucky. <laughs> Cool. 
<laughs> and since it was uh, the music store, it could have it uh, adjusted right away. <laughs> Oh, great. Great, great, great. This instrument, this collection of instruments can be very expensive, yeah. But hey, the thing is very well balanced. Where's the money? <laughs> Because uh, my uh, my uh, groove tool by uh, by Conklin is not well balanced, and I remember if I wanted to play it in standing position, the thing will just dive. <laughs> you know, if you, if you didn't touch it, the the the, the head was big, so uh, thing you no know, used to. Um, used to 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 yes dive head first completely uh, completely unbalanced So yes, having a nice instrument. Easy to play and uh, sounding well and staying in a good position. It's very important. I have to be at the right place, right moment, right time, yeah. I think I'm the opposite of talent when it comes to uh, that capacity with second hand stuff. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Always lucky, yeah. Hmm, that's strange that some people seem to be always lucky. Haha. <laughs> Could, it could turn that luck into business. Maybe, may, maybe it's what it does. No, but uh, no, making bargain, try to sell for profit. Great. <laughs> yeah, yet yeah, another thing I will uh, never never try to do <laughs> because I don't want to lose money Okay. Sorry, back in five seconds. <laughs> I come back. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, it's not uh, the Mohawk. Uh, actually, I have made it. Uh, it's not uh, going very well. The image, but yes, I uh, I have a lot of uh, of texture, micro texture, but you just see the bigger the bigger holes. But yes, this anyway. This will need some refreshing, maybe. But uh, I used some uh, brushes, sponges, bio stuff, even uh, even some uh, even. The Pin, you know, just popping holes here and there, and after that, a brush and a sponge. And that 
that's why I should have focused more on the maces before. To not have to tune things up, you know, just like when you park your car, you know. You uh, mess the first maneuver and after that you have metric ton of maneuvers to do in order to park. <laughs> Oh yeah, green stuff for hills, yeah. Just here, it's just I'm trying to uh, to use one clay because uh, reasons. No, because mainly because uh, I, I take it as a some kind of a challenge. Work only with one uh, stuff, which is stupid, but uh, I'm stupid sometimes. Most of the times. <laughs> But uh, yeah, green stuff can be great for uh, for hair, for details. Most of the time I'm using, uh, when I, I have to use some epoxy like that, I'm using a mix of green stuff and muddy pots because uh, it's easier to, uh, to send to cured. But yeah, this is something I... Uh, try to I'm trying to do it's to work only with polymer and one uh, one bake but yes I was seeking some balance and I think I may found found it it's not perfect but better yeah oh yes stretch of the green stuff as long as it's not too old I uh, to hold I, I had a very old batch basically uh, the blue part was uh, extremely stiff and uh, even mixed with the, the, the yellow part it was very hard to mix almost unmixable and yeah this thing was not very easy to work with so that's why I'm buying overpriced but uh, smaller uh, sell in smaller chunks chunks sorry um, from uh, Army Painter or Games Workshop. So the, there is a company, Silmasta, they, they sold this big, big ribbon of uh, green stuff, but uh, by the time you're using even just the, the first half of your ribbon, the thing will be too old and uh, pretty much unusable is for me it was great that I found a very nice French supplier when it comes to uh, uh, magic sculpt which is a very very good epoxy beauty Oh yeah, great! The one touch, yeah, yeah, yeah. I should definitely try, uh, try that with separate parts uh, in tubes. It's great. Green stuff world, yeah. My liquid sugar. Uh, 
no bubbles. Mm, but I like Doctor. So never mind. <sighs> Yep. Mm. But after that, I have the Baron Sandy. But even after, maybe we'll start a new a new bust. A girl. I love to sculpt girls. Love to draw girls, love to sculpt girls. Because I'm a toxic white male, so I have this awful male gaze. I'm I'm bad. Yeah. Should be a shame of myself. <laughs> Maybe you should stop watching uh, American content. <laughs> You're fucking white male. Oh. Wow. Why do you why do you sculpt women? Why? And I can answer. How dare you assume their gender? How dare you? <laughs> uh, yeah. Crazy, crazy MS. <laughs> What's very strange is that they're the laughing stock of pretty much everyone. Except the community managers of pretty much every uh, every company on Twitter. And yeah, even you know Shuan Head, which is the closest to the left an American can be and yeah she just dislike completely this crazy delusional nonsensical farts of human beings very strange but funny <laughs> Shoe on head. Just watch a couple of videos. Just sweet. But no simping. <laughs> and I don't need to simp because I have a companion. Okay. Not very fond of uh, her friend uh, Vosh, but uh, Shunhead. Like, I think, yeah, it's kind of interesting because um, her views on the on her uh, her own side of the political spectrum is kind of close of the French idea, you know, political compass. It's kind, 
Ja, genau. Kind of refreshing. Because with something that had been said by um, um, a French, uh, a former French, how can I say that? It was a guy working with a, you know, with a, with 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 other countries when it comes to um, to to weapon markets and stuff like that. Uh, it was. Um, He was an expert in uh, international relations uh, between uh, between countries, and the guy just said, "Yeah, it's very strange because France don't know United, don't know America. You know, it's, it's, basically, France they doesn't know shit about true United States. So that's why I'm." Especially why I'm uh, focusing a lot of American content, I'm consuming a lot of their, watching a lot of their videos, know some various stuff coming from Canadians, also like uh, Abba and Preach. That are, yeah, very much left leaning or, you know, true right wing conservatives like um, guys like uh, Anthony Brian Logan. People in the middle, Karin Marizenko, right middle, but yeah, kind of middle-ish. It's very interesting. People like Tim Pool, not always great content, but yeah, interesting and uh, entertaining somehow. Yeah, some of them, yes, maybe, yeah. But uh, during my stream, I talked with a uh, with, um, very nice guy from Louisiana. It was great. Very nice. Uh, and I had a very nice conversation. But yeah, that's true. That's, um, And their their politicians can be very annoying. Specifically, uh, people like uh, like AOC. Oh my goodness! Just the literal embodiment of what I dislike with politics. Even if she says something, if she says something that I can agree with, I will disagree. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, mm -mm. opinion maker. Yeah, I think the Tim Pool stuff can be uh, interesting, but with uh, with the proper method and uh, yeah. Having you know, having a a skeptical stance toward what he's saying. Yeah, but you have to uh, give it to give him uh, also the fact that uh, sometimes um, the anti anti Trump uh, mob was uh, was completely crazy. I'm not a huge fan of Trump, of course, but uh, I think that a lot of criticism was uh, was not very uh, genuine. I mean, but I think one of his worst errors when it comes to international politics is the fact that he. Uh, Just decided to to go out of the uh, the agreement upon uh, upon the nuclear energy with Iran. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm. 
on the pieces here. Okay. Uh, I think that one of the biggest problems in uh, not just in the United States but in uh, politics in general is this way of always trying to virtue signal rendering and virtue signaling two plagues. should be overcome but uh, it's kind of difficult right now I think oh no of course not and, and a lot of stuff that have been uh, you know uh, said about Trump were actually Obama policies so it's very strange you think the problem is uh, with the lack of um, political culture you can say just a big problem. No, in fact, it's the only thing uh, we can uh, find about Trump. I think this is something I uh, I kind of found myself. Uh, it's just that the guy was not mm, was not a professional in politics so yeah almost something like uh, like the punkish uh, a punkish attitude even though it was just an attitude of course but it's saying something about people uh, who voted for him and uh, the fact that those those people these people have just think these feeling of not being listened to and they are entitled to this feeling <laughs> I have to say and uh, yeah I think it's interesting and I tend to not judge people who voted for uh, for for uh, for Trump Specifically, those uh, those guys coming from uh, you know very uh, um, broken areas, you know, like uh, like Detroit or some um, can be harsh. They 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 had this uh, crisis with the uh, subprime, the economical crisis. Yeah, and seeing the um, employment flying outside of the country. But um, yeah, I don't think their life drastically changed, of course. But I think they, this is this is rather interesting and concerning, but not because uh, I think that there there are some uh, some yadzis everywhere. No, but uh, just because there is a good chunk of the population that just is in despair. Just don't want to listen to, uh, you know, uh, other influencers like uh, like actors. 
there is something we don't care. It's their political views. Don't need Brian Cranston to tell me, no, don't vote for this guy because he is a fraud. Yeah, okay. What else? Don't care. You can take your opinion and show it up your millionaire ass. Just, and I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it was just the way a certain America just gave the finger to, to, to others. But yeah, things are not, uh, have not changed. But the system is quite difficult because the president is only a president. <laughs> He's not in charge of everything. And uh, he had to deal with uh, with caucuses that were not uh, on board. And the man, I mean, very divisive man. I can understand why. Remember the uh, escalation with North Korea also? Hmm, crap. Nah, yeah, that's good. Oh uh, yeah, but now it's a story. We have creepy old Joe. <laughs> Not we, but they. Here we have uh, Agnon from the Petit, the Petit Nicolas. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good one. Resisting new wars. Let's see if um, Biden administration will uh, continue that way. I have to say, I have some doubts. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but going from for Iron uh, would be a lot of work because uh, Russia will not be okay with that <laughs> and uh, yeah they, uh, they showed in Syria that uh, you have to deal with Russia Respect, yeah, 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 my yeah, 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 while listening to uh, to creepy Joe. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah, or they. Uh, I know that in France they uh, supported the. Uh, Al Nusra Front, which is basically Al Qaeda. It was great. You no, know, you're in the news. Oh, they made a great job. Yeah, great job. Beautiful. 
But at least they're not Bashar al-Assad. Yes, but they're terrorists. So... Yeah. I read a very wonderful book about Syria. Uh, like, um, uh, it's been written by uh, by a French uh, a French professor uh, um, about you know um, geopolitology. Yeah. And uh, the guy, he wrote a book with an opponent, political opponent to uh, Bashar al-Assad, uh, called uh, Randa Cassis. It's very interesting. Small book. Uh, the French title is uh, Comprendre le chaos syrien. So in English, uh, understanding the Syrian chaos. And uh, yeah, very interesting, because it's uh, the reality is uh, the ethnical reality is very, very complex. Oh yeah, but France just, yeah, it was Sarkozy's administration. Freaking traitor, this guy. Basically, they said that they are, and it's something backed with uh, with evidences you know his uh, campaign had been um, had been partially paid by uh, by the leader of libya you know and uh, yeah the the guy used uses uh, the army just for helping uh, population to uh, to destroy the Qadhafi regime. I don't think that the guy was great, but uh, it's a strange way to uh, help your uh, help people who have financed financed you. Strange. Clinton described the thing. She is completely crazy. This woman is crazy. She's a. Uh, it's very strange that no one bites the lie that she is. Uh, she is a Democrat. She is just. She is just a neocons in Democrat rags. And she said, "Yeah, we came. He died." Haha, <laughs> lol. Yeah, mm -mm -mm -mm. definitely, yes. Yes, yes, yes. No, yeah. I saw some heartbreaking uh, videos uh, from people uh, living in, uh, in Libya, you know showing a plaza under the regime and after and it was definitely heartbreaking thing has been bombed to the stone to the stone age it's crazy 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 And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a classic thing also to uh, to darken the picture, you know. Even 
even when you're dealing with a true dictator. No, like uh, guys like like Jong Un, Kim Jong Un. There are a lot of awful things uh, occurring in North Korea, according to some testimonies. But there are some stuff that are that have been said about the guy that are just not true. And I think it's helping no one. There are plenty of awful things true things <laughs> it's not needed to to use made up things yeah it's kind of good just we'll put more maces on the horn here and that will be good Another one. Quick. Yo. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Blend, blend, blend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you have uh, some kind of uniformity uh, in North Korea. I don't have in uh, in Libya or in Syria. There is a lot of diversity in there in these countries. Hmm. Mm -mm. Maybe, maybe. And yeah, maybe democracy is not always the best thing. I don't know. This is, um, I remember that uh, I think it was Nietzsche who thought that all in one, an aristocracy of some kind, you know, it's not completely, it's not completely stupid. But yes, the basic thing, we shouldn't uh, use this you know this pretext to uh, to invade and to try to, to 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 overcome and dismantle their their states it's stupid mm -mm. Yeah. But now they have a saw. <laughs> Can be redicted. Yeah, we're not redicted, just keeping power until two thousand thirty six, I think. Thing like that. Yeah. And you know, our Fifth Republic here has been thought at the beginning as something of a, you know, it was a Republican Democratic Monarchy. 
having a prison for seven years. You used to have a prison for seven years. And uh, um, François Mitterrand just had two runs, you know, so 14 years, 14 years. But uh, yeah, so that truck just uh, just made the first uh, first run seven years, and after that he uh, managed to enforce the, the 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 five year stuff. Basically, basically mixing the roles between the prime minister and president, which is stupid. And yeah, here we are. So our democracy is no longer a democracy, it's completely crooked. Because before people could um, express themselves, you know, you, 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 you hadn't any phasing between, uh, between leg legislative elections and uh, presidential elections. So if you're not happy with the, the team in place, uh, in the next um, legislative election, you can, maybe you had can imagine a president from the right with a uh, with a majority in uh, in the assembly, national assembly. So right, and uh, you were not happy as a as a population. So next um, legislative elections, you will vote massively for the left. So you have a cohabitation, and the president uh, is um, at the obligation to uh, name the prime minister uh, from the left side of the political uh, spectrum. You know, the, you had this way to express something that we no longer have. So, yeah, we're, we, we shouldn't give any, 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 any other country any lessons in the lecture about being democratic or not. And uh, yeah, when I, from what I can tell, we definitely could benefit from a very, a real strong man here, because just had some weaklings, weaklings trying to uh, to appear strong, which are the worst, I think. The worst of the worst being the, the guy we have currently. I mean, don't know if you uh, you, you you read uh, um, uh, Le Petit Nicolas from uh, from Goscinny and uh, Sempe. But uh, yeah, there is a character. Uh, kid uh, named Agnon. He is the uh, favorite of the, the teacher and basically it's our president. Except yeah, he fucked the teacher. So we have a victim of, um, of you know, child abuse as a president. It's great. It's wonderful. We used to be great as a country. No, it's just, yeah. France is, France is nothing. Our universities are nothing. We have a nice pop culture, but uh, no one's care. <laughs> And uh, by nice pop culture, I mean uh, nice culture within comic books and stuff like that. Not our series, movies. We have a, can have great cinema when it comes to art house movies. There is some good stuff, but the common folk stuff is just the. <laughs> And interesting, it's 
not not good and, and we're paying for that because of taxes yeah maybe it's a lot of credit to give to france but yeah You know when it, uh, when I when I think of a um, thing appearing like a uh, culture war or stuff like that in the United States, we we should play a part. You know, uh, mangas are thriving in uh, in the United States. We should play our part. I mean, in France we have great stuff. Why 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 don't we play a little part of that? Don't know. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. And I, uh, yeah, I have this impression of being part of a sinking ship and being stuck with it. It's Oh, yeah, definitely um, something in that taste, yeah. No. Not exactly. Denial arrogance. Something uh... Yes, okay. Eric cycle, yeah, my uh my my girlfriend talked about uh, about it, but I didn't read it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. More clock, yeah, okay. Yeah, she uh, she talked uh, talked talked about it. Explain a little. Yeah, just so uh, just so yes, uh, yeah. I search, I Google the thing. Good French comic about that, yeah. Mm. 
Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. I should check. I should try to read the thing. Ah, the last French comic books I read, a uh, comic book I read was uh, very, it's nice, very nice, but very light-hearted thing uh, called Funerai. Kind of funny, interesting, wordings. Yeah, certain themes, kind of interesting. But uh, yeah. Should check this uh, the thing in the last uh, the last novel I read was uh, ooh not a huge reader should read more I think uh, I think my uh, my girlfriend said that uh, it was not very uh, easy to dive in dive into this uh, thing. I can't remember. I think she liked she liked it. I'll ask her later. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, not like uh, he is the anti Balzac. <laughs> yeah, by compact, I thought you. Uh, we're seeing uh, dance, you know. Also, oh, it's very synthetic.
Okay. Nice, nice, nice stuff here. Cool. Okay, that's nice. We should stop in eight hours. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, me too. Anyway, we'll stop there. So thanks for uh, passing by. <clears throat> Maybe uh, catch you another th another stream. Don't know when I'll do another. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. So, so have a good uh, night, <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you. There is another one person here, so thanks. I don't know who you are, but uh, glad to have you too here. And uh, yeah, and for people uh, seeing that, if <laughs> there ever be someone to watch that. Uh, you can follow me everywhere, social medias, everything is at my name, Adrien Lou. And uh, in uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, see you uh, next time on another live stream or another video. And thanks, Joe. Hope to catch you uh, later on another live stream. Bye-bye.